just $9.99. Grab one while they last, because this weekend, everything new in high definition is on display at Star Power. Star Power presents High Definition Expo 2007. Sony XPR, Pioneer Elite, LG, Klipsch, Tenoy. Manufacturers from all over the world are flying here for the nationally acclaimed High Definition Expo 2007 at Star Power. So this weekend, you can see it and own it before anybody else in America, including a 50-inch Sony HD LCD for $9.99 or a Sharp DLP projector and free screen for just $8.88. Or get this, buy any flat panel 50 inches or more and we'll give you a 20-inch LCD absolutely free. The Star Power High Definition Expo 2007, this weekend only at one store only. Star Power, on the tollway just north of Beltline. Meet the Mavs' Devin Harris at Star Power Saturday at 1. Star Power. Amazing. Number one, the proof is in the pudding. Hey, has anyone actually found proof in pudding? KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth. This is 3FM Live 105.3. The Russ Martin Show. It, it just seems like by everybody holding out, they've done more damage than any benefit they would have gotten out of uh, the lockout or, or uh, holding out for a salary cap or whatever because now the interest is going to wane in hockey. You're going to have less income coming in, mm -hmm. and they're not going to be able to pay as much for salaries. Well, and see, these are the things to me that should have come out five months ago and then should have been... I mean, that's a simple way to look at it, but is that right? That, well, of course it is. I mean, I think there's damage done here that is going to take years and years to replace and, and to fix, and... You know, and again, I'm looking at it from the standpoint of, of my kids because right. I, you know, obviously we all hope that someday they can play, but who knows if the, what this game is going to be like in three or four years? Now, I really hope it's right back to where you know it left off a year or two ago, but right. you know, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. So, I, I honestly think, <laughs> I think some of the the people that are going to have the most input and the ones that are actually going to get the players back in the building, and I hate to say it, are going to be the wives. I mean, they're the ones that. Um, you know, the guy, the players as a player, I mean, you sit there and you want to buy your toys, your boats, your cars, and everything else, but the, you know, the, the girlfriends and the wives are the ones that are paying the bills, and all of a sudden when these checks, the same amount of checks aren't coming in again, they're saying, hey, you know what, you need to get your ass back there in the ring and start getting me checks. You don't think I should wait a day or two? Because I bet if I wait a day or two, they're going to come down. That house has been on the market for nine months. You're in a hurry. That is... Hello? Hello? What are you doing? Listening to you. No. Oh. So what do you think? I think you should at least try to split it. I've already come up a lot. Trey, who's come up? Who's moved more, him or this guy? Um, they have. They okay. have. Well, there you go. Suck it up. Give the guy his money. He's out of work. Stumping on his dreams. I'm not stopping. He's got. He had his dreams. Time to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very nice. <laughs> Do you think if I come up half, they'll come down the rest? Um, I w would think so. Were they pissy when you told them I weren't moving anymore? I wasn't no. moving anymore. No, not at all. Yeah. But, I mean, I ran the numbers, and I, if you remember, I told you if you get it under mm -hmm. X amount, you're doing, you know, it's a good buy. And, and are we getting it under that amount? Oh, way under that amount. Yeah. All right, call them up to ask them to split it. Okay. Call me back. Will do. Thanks. <clears throat> you could be in the house in a month. It'll take, it takes a month. I guess. I, I don't know. Is that what it means? 30 days to close? Yeah, I guess. I mean, once you close, you own the house? Yeah, that's true. Well, okay. I've spent so long since I bought a house. I'd forgotten the numbers. I didn't pay attention last time trade it everything. So if, that, if that's what it means, 30 days to close, then whatever today is, 30 days later, uh, I'm chunking hockey sticks in the front yard. <laughs> then your house immediately goes on the market. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have both houses for you. You sure you don't want to look at mine? I don't want to look at your house. Thank you, though. Why? good shape. I don't, I don't like that part of town. What's wrong with that part of town? I there's, just, there's I'm, no colors. <laughs> you said they're coming. Well, they're coming, but they can't get past the uh, okay. tro troopers. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the mid-cities. I like Tarrant County. Oh. What is it about Tarrant County? You've always lived in Tarrant it's County. It's just a different mindset, man. Something about when you're driving down 183 and you cross right there at that line, traffic seems to be better. People are nicer. I don't know what it is. It's like some timeline you cross. 
Are you serious? I'm dead serious. And nothing against Dallas. I'm not picking on Dallas. I'm just saying downtown Fort Worth well lit. It's the clubs are nicer. The people are nicer. It's easier to park. Blacks are behaved. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you want, Debbie? Right. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you why I'm calling. All right. Okay. Open that door. Okay, let me tell you the situation, and then this is going to open a whole lot of can of Go work. ahead. First of all, um, when I met him, we got together and talked <clears throat> and had several days, just just days to, for him to explain to me what more of what swing was about and so forth. Anyway, we decided we were both, he was in school, and I was in between his job, of course, uh -huh. my career was changing. And so... I Is any of this important to the story? Yes. Okay, right. what happened was he told me he wasn't an active swinger, um, but we decided we were going to have a monogamous, exclusive relationship, but still, you know, meet other people and whatever. But Well, that's not monogamous exclusive. and exclusive, but exactly. it's your okay. own definition, so go but right anyway. ahead. So anyway, as it goes on, I find out that this couple that he'd been with, um, he got a disease from her. She was in love with him. His the husband didn't know it, although they had threesomes. Um, he would see her on the side, but then he wanted to break it off with her. So he he told me he had this problem and he wanted us to stay together. So I know this is horrible, and I did until I got a disease. And the thing was, oh, he was hor he was just heartbroken and all this. And he got through school. He's a doctor now. But now what, what disease? What di ah, bah, what disease did no, you get? No. But this is what da, I want ba, 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 da, da, da. What disease did you get? HPV, genital wart. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the Russ Martin Show. <laughs> well, good afternoon to you. This is a good your traffic brought to you by KTVT and Chicken Express. On eastbound I-30 at Winslow, you got a wreck blocking the left lane traffic back up to downtown. On eastbound 635 before Marsh Lane, they just cleared a crash. Traffic stacked up to 35 Simmons. Also had a couple of big road gators on westbound LBJ past Josie Lane. They were in the right lane. On northbound 35 Simmons at Commonwealth, you've got some road work blocking the right lane. And then in Melissa, there's a motorcycle wreck on northbound 121 at Central. That may be shut down. We'll let you know next time around. I'm Gail Lightfoot on the Russ Martin Show. The Russ Martin Show. They make me loopy. Jimmy, 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 I need... Live from 105.3. CBS 11 News at 10. Tonight, our cameras catch a confrontation. We're going to take you stop. As Ginger Allen takes the victim straight to the man they're accusing. Tonight at 10. This segment brought to you by Apple Moving. Go to applemovingdfw.com. The fourth annual Pro Cuts Texas World Dirt Track Championship returns to Texas Motor Speedway March 2nd and 3rd. And once again, NASCAR Nextel Cup driver Ken Schrader will race in the Pro Cuts Super Late Model both nights. Come see Ken Schrader up close as he competes against the best drivers from across the state. What could be better than that? How about if it was all free? Just race into any of ProCut's 85 Metroplex locations and get two free tickets with any purchase of $15 or more. Yes, for only $15 worth of professional hair care products and services, you get $50 worth of racing tickets free. Race into your neighborhood ProCut's today for the look you want, the products you need, and two free tickets to the ProCut's Texas World Dirt Track Championship featuring NASCAR Nextel Cup driver Ken Schrader at Texas Motor Speedway. For the salon nearest you, call 1-888-PRO-CUTS or go to ProCuts.com. Not valid with other offers, valid only while supplies last at participating salons. ProCuts, best on the block. Arthur the doorman. Uh, hello, Arthur. Sean Burns from 14B. Ah, uh, yes. B for Burns, sir. How are you? Fine. Did I get a package? Ah, uh, no, Mr. Burns. No package has been delivered. Let me look. Mm, nope. Really? It should be here by now. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Burns. Your bottle of Crown Royal has not arrived yet. Arthur, I never said it was a bottle of Crown Royal. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you did. No, I said a package. Oh, no, sir. You said Crown Royal Fine Deluxe Canadian Whiskey, just like it says here on the label. If it hasn't arrived yet, how do you know what the label says? I'm a good guesser. Uh, where are you right now? In the lobby. Mm-hmm. Do you see that man on the payphone across the street? Oh, my. Someone's stolen your coat, sir. That's me in my coat, and do you know what I'm looking at? Hmm. 
the doorman who just found your bottle of Crown Royal. Crown Royal, blended Canadian whiskey imported by the Crown Royal Company, Stamford, Connecticut. 40% alcohol by volume. Enjoy our quality responsibly, but don't drink if you're under 21. Welcome, Mr. Burns. Let me get the door. Thanks, Arthur. Can I have my package? What package? My name is Jamie. I own my own dress boutique. I'm the gal in charge. I can set my own hours, hire my own team, and sell the clothes I want. I'm finally living my dream. But with all the glory comes all the financial responsibility. I've got to pay the bills on time, every time. And we have to save enough to cover the payroll taxes. Fortunately, Chase, Dallas's number one bank for small business, has everything you need to turn business hurdles into business successes. With Chase Business Checking, you'll get access to the most payment options, more than any other bank, including overnight check. So you can always pay the bills, even at the last minute. Chase Business Checking customers also save money with the best loan, credit, and savings rates Chase has to offer. My name is Jamie, and Chase helps me do what I do best, make the world a little prettier. Call the business team at Chase today at 1-800-CHASE-24. Stop by one of our banking centers or visit chase.com slash business banking today. Credit products subject to approval. J.P. Morgan Chase and a member FDIC. Welcome to Burger Bonanza. Can I take your order? Uh, yeah. I'd like an extra large spare tire. Oh, you want just the spare tire or the combo? I'll go with the combo. And your side? Um, do you have love handles? Yep, two to an order. Great. Uh, and a double chin as well. Honey, what do you want? Uh, can I get the badonkadonk butt? You want the badonkadonk butt or the badonkadonk butt? Uh, just the badonkadonk. Okay, you can get extra flabby for only 49 cents more. Ooh, sure. Oh, and what kind of thighs do you have? Thunder thighs and cottage cheese thighs. How about the thunder thighs? Sure. So that's one extra large spare tire combo, a side of love handles, a double chin, an extra flabby badonkadonk butt with thunder thighs on the side. What are you really getting with your combo meal? Try a Subway Fresh Value Meal. A delicious sub with six grams of fat or less, baked glaze, and a diet soda. Subway. Eat fresh. For a limited time only, participating restaurants offer good on a regular six-inch sub bag of chips and 21-ounce drink. Fat content refers to regular six-inch sandwiches on white or wheat bread without cheese or condiments that contain fat. Subway is registered trademark of Dr. Associates, Inc. Hey, Jagger. What's up, Kelly? I want to talk to you because you are one of the chosen few. Yeah. Like, oh, you're talking about the little thing we have in common, our direct buy memberships? Yes. Very I don't cool. know how much money you save. You've been a member longer than I have, but I know that I saved thousands of dollars on my granite countertops, also on my tile and uh, other flooring. I'll give you a good example. The, the last house that we flipped, this is why we became direct buy members because we knew we were going to be doing houses. So mm -hmm. this last house that we did, we did hardwoods throughout the entire house. We did cabinets in the kitchen, all new cabinets. We did a plum appliances wow. and put plantation shutters on every window and there were a lot of windows in that house. So That's I, expensive. Yeah, so you talk about the thousands of dollars that we saved there is unbelievable because the thing is that you buy directly from the manufacturer. You knock out the wholesaler, you knock out the distributor, and you knock out the retailer when you buy direct. And they've got over, I think it's like 700 manufacturers now and I get emails every week of new people that they've been adding. What's that number again? 1-800-DIRECT-BUY. Or you can go online to? DirectBuy.com. <laughs> direct Buy is the number one way to buy direct for your home. Man, these are awesome. Yeah, I didn't even know that Buffalo Wild Wings had ribs. Oh, yeah, and the hickory flavor is so good. Uh-oh. Uh, uh what? There's only one rib left. Hmm. Well, I should probably just take it. Wait, why do you get it? Because I'm a man, and men have bigger stomachs. Says who? Says science. No way. Uh, well, I, I suppose you think you should get it? As a matter of fact, I do. Why? Well, what about the notion of women and children first? Uh, no, honey, that's just for boats. What? Yeah, okay, well, what about the fact that women already have an extra rib? That's just a myth perpetrated by man to subjugate women. Subject. <laughs> Subject. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what that means, okay? But, 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 but I know this. Men invented fire. What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? What, are you repeating everything I say? What, are you repeating everything I say? You can have the last one. You can have the last one. Oh, all right, thanks. Duh! Ribs and more ribs at Buffalo Wild Wings. A pound of our lip-smacking glazed and grilled ribs. They taste great straight up or dipped in your favorite signature sauce. And they're just one more reason why at Buffalo Wild Wings, you have to be here. Hi, this is Daryl Ray. And I'm Ralph Strandis for our friends at D&M Leasing. Razor, did you know that William Shakespeare invented more than 1,700 words? Wow. Oh, yeah, he came up with countless new words, including countless... Well, that's just awesome for Bill, but what does that have to do with D&M leasing? Razor, it was Shakespeare who said, To thine own self be true, lease with D&M. He did? And also, the lady doth protest too much about her monthly lease payment. She must not have leased from D&M. 
I know you're a raging thespian and all, but I'm not so the sure. The milk of human kindness flows from the leasing expert at d &M, uh. displaying the naked truth about saving 40 to 50 percent, uh. aiding all to wear one's heart on one's sleeve when choosing your next vehicle. What? For brevity is the soul of wit. Uh, people, call d &M at 35 lease. That's 35 Valley ASC. Works from any local area code. Or contact them online <sighs> at dmautoleasing.com. Brenda Coates is a real Geico customer, not a paid celebrity. So to help tell her story, we hired Mr. Burt Bacharach. Last year, I was rear-ended by a Geico customer. I was hit in the rear. The first thought in my mind was about that funny lizard. Lizard licks his eyeball. I was so impressed with how they handled my claim, I switched. I hope I'll never get hit in the rear. Geico. Real service, real savings. It starts with local irritation. I'm just not comfortable with you anymore. Then, a strange sinking sensation. I'm not getting the support I need. Signs of the chronic condition known as furniture fatigue. Fortunately, Renner Center has the cure for the common couch, bedroom set, dinette, and more with cool new brand name furniture, electronics, appliances, and computers, too. All with easy payment options, delivery and service included. Renter Center, we make it easy to make it your own. Service included while you rent in Arkansas. The advertisement is for a rental purchase transaction. No ownership option in Minnesota. Visit Renter Center or rentacenter.com for details. It's been two weeks, and everyone is talking about the Dodge Ram Challenge. Still in the dark? Then go to cbssportsline.com slash Ram Challenge and prove that you are Dodge Ram Tough. Take the Dodge Ram Challenge featuring the Rock'em Sock'em Robots, and you could win one of over 9,000 prizes, including 2007 Dodge Ram Laramie Quad Cap 4x4s, or VIP trips to Las Vegas or Atlantic City to see world-class boxing. Only Dodge Ram, the longest-lasting, most durable line of full-size pickups can bring you an online game like this. Go to cbssportsline.com slash Ram Challenge. From now until March 31st, compete and win with Dodge. Longest lasting based on R.O. Polk and Company vehicles in operation. Registration statistics 1986 to 2005. Durability based on longevity. Rock'em Sock'em robots used by permission of Mattel, Inc. Copyright 2007. Mattel, Inc. All rights reserved. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Promotion ends March 31st, 2007. For official rules and details, go to CBS Sports Line.com slash Ram Challenge. Plumbing problems? Clogged drains? Sewer backed up? Call Roto Rooter and get the job done right. Roto Rooter right. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call 800 Get Roto or visit rotorooter.com.
set out on the front porch and watch the uh, roof come off my neighbor's house. Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, it's not good, but it... Yeah, it was. They were dicks. Oh. <laughs> across the street or... Yeah, directly across. That white one? Yeah. Just patches or a big chunk? A uh, big chunk right off the... Uh, the uh, what do you call the very top? Crest? Top. Yeah. Good. That's one that always leave their dog out? Yeah. They're also the ones that when I was having a charter put in my broadband, mm-hmm. they had to go check the connection in their backyard to make sure the signal was going to get to me. Okay. So the charter guys went over there, knocked on the door, said, we need to do this. They said, you're not going back there. Well, we're trying to get your neighbor's broadband hooked up. Yeah. They said, you're not going back there. Well, yeah, we are. We have an easement. We're just giving you the heads up. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm glad they lost their house. Or their roof. Yeah. Amy came home. She goes, what are you doing? So I'm watching the roof come on. <laughs> Don't bug me. She goes, you going to do anything? Well, what do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> Lick the back of my hand over there and see, can I smooth it down? <laughs> <laughs> Climb up there and just spread eagle. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Call somebody. <laughs> She goes, well, I'm going to go tell them. No, you're not. No, we're watching. Well, she meant after everything died down. Well, no, you're not going over there. They can find out just like anybody else. Wait till it rains. (laughs) You have any damage? No. Just junk flying everywhere. You lost your gazebo? Mm Mm-hmm. Looked out the back window and there it goes. (laughs) Looked like something out of Twister. (laughs) Is it repa- well, repairable? New. And, and the, the four metal posts that were holding it up, top of it snapped from that. And all it was missing was a Dodge Ram truck driving <laughs> through the middle of it. <laughs> got a cow flying yeah. around. <laughs> we got oh. a cow. <laughs> I just, Chuck, when did we put that up? Last August? I didn't get a good eight, nine months out of it. I've lived here all my life, as have all of you. I have never seen a windstorm like that. I saw one once when I was a kid. It was maybe 73, 74 of winds got it. It was just, it was fast, though. They came up. Uh, I think the, the guy on the radio said they got up to uh, it's a quick burst of 70. Mm-hmm. Let's stop. I've never seen it last that long. Yeah, this was the longest one. Kind of a dust storm. Shut the airport down. I would expect that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Have you had your roof checked? You know, I haven't. Maybe I should. I have to look at it. I mean, I looked at it with my flashlight, and I was trying to see if there was anything different. But I guess, what, do you just have somebody come out and check it? No, they can probably just call. I didn't know if they had to look at it or they walk Well, I'm sure they have to look at it. Walk it? (laughs) Who do you call? I've never had a problem with it. Uh, Roof people. Yeah. You could uh, start with any company that has the name Roof in it. I'm not good at home ownership. <laughs> uh, I'll look for a sign on the truck that's going to be in front of my neighbor's house. <laughs> yeah, good idea. If you like, I'll have the people that are going to come look at yours. Russ's, I'll... Okay. Actually, I can't get them to answer the phone. I imagine they're a bit busy today. Yeah. Who's going to come look at mine? Uh, the same people are out there before. Oh, okay. I didn't see any, uh, I didn't see anything that flew off, but, you know, I can't see the very top of the house. Is there any way to get up there? I mean, short of, uh, climbing up that pitch? No. What's the difference? You don't need to be climbing on your roof anyway. Well, I need to see if there's any damage. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be climbing on a 45-degree roof. It ain't 45 degrees. It most certainly is. Your roof is extremely steep. That's 45 degrees. Yeah, your roof's 45 degrees. Without any kind of protective gear. She's going to go up there and walk around. You can't really fly. You've got the outfit. <laughs> Batman don't fly. And plus... you got to throw a little realism into this. Okay. What are you going to do that's... What? We have training for repelling, don't we, Dan? Absolutely. Where did you get your training from repelling? 
Off the side of the dumpster out back. <laughs> That's what you repelled off of? Mm-hmm. It's one-stop training uh, seminar right there. Putting out fires. You learned about backdraft that day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Most fire fighting is actually learned in the field. That's where the, uh, the, the, the phrase trial by fire, that's where it came from. Mm-hmm. You're pulling it out. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's not. I believe it is. <laughs> you didn't repel off the garbage, off the dumpster out. Yeah, we did. And, and we that, took little steps to make it seem more realistic as opposed to the eight feet tall that it is. And that makes you feel like you're trying to come off a 30, 40 foot roof. Where's your repelling certification? I don't have one. I yeah. get on my roof. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is it, Brian? Uh, I'd just like to say as an Eagle Scout who has repelled before, I'll be happy to come help. You'll come in handy. <laughs> Need extra rope? No. <laughs> <laughs> How's he going to come in handy? Well, I'll think about it for a couple of minutes. I can think of a lot of different ways. <laughs> Getting we- up there, coming back down, it don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Brian, you ready to lift this up? <laughs> All right, look at this. <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me open it all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, you have any damage? No, not at all. Got lucky. Mm. There was a, a clump of houses in Plano. They think it was because of the builder. Almost all of them lost chunks of their roofs. I saw the and then video. you you look, uh, you can look, you see the next development from that one. Nothing. It was just that one area by the same builder. All the roofs were coming yeah. off. They did something wrong there. Yeah, that's what the homeowners think. They're good. Mm. So are you. Try to be. I'm new at this homeowner thing, but I'm learning fast. When's it supposed to rain again? Actually, I looked through the weekend. It was just going to be cooler on Friday. No real rainstorms until maybe next week. Yeah. Because I'm going to imagine it's going to be hard to get anybody out to look at the house. It's it's going to take a week or two. I, d- I really doubt you have any damage. I'll see what I can uh, find out tonight or tomorrow. I'll get at my... Uh, Gear. <laughs> Will you let me know what time you're going to do this so I can swing by? Well, probably be late in the day because I'll be drinking. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll get the wide angle lens. That's about the only time I get industrious. Because <laughs> if I was sober, that'd be scary. Yeah. <laughs> I had a good one of those last night. What? The industrious drunk. <laughs> what were you doing? Because I was all over the house. I cleaned, I scrubbed floors, I installed a new shower head. <laughs> installed a new shower. <laughs> How is it that Bob Vila never got caught on to this? I don't know. And I don't know what it is about that. We were out of whiskey, so I'm having to drink Amy's wine, so my buzz is, is more of a slow burn. Mm-hmm. So I stayed in that clean zone a lot longer. And I remember most of it. No, I'm not sure if that's a benefit. <laughs> <laughs> but I still, it was, I uh, pulled all the, the uh, groceries out of the pantry, rearranged everything. Oh, my God. Cleaned the shelves, uh, stocked all the product, faced it. <laughs> like your days at Kroger. Yeah. Yes. Never worked at Kroger. Um, I did. Oh, I worked at Kroger. I worked at Tom Thumb, too. Yeah. That's a whipping. Stocking. So, I mean, but you pull everything I could be a whipping. You're just putting cans oh, out. You got to go to the back. You got to pull that stuff out, and it just takes forever. You ever work fast food? No. You got no clue. <laughs> <laughs> How is fast food any harder than stocking? I think maybe stocking is just boring. Fast That's food probably what is it is. Just uh, I can't even imagine. Well, you, you're surrounded by things that produce heat, and in the summer, yeah, they still produce heat. You go home smelling of hamburgers and grease. It's just hot. <laughs> Try roofing. You win. <laughs> that was my summer job. How long did you do that? Uh, God, every summer, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, um, and then even some in college. I don't know how you keep from passing out. Lots of water, but yeah, and a lot of it, it's either putting on white coats or black, but you know, you just burn up. How was your weekend, Trey? Mine was good. Everything 
up until today was fine. Hmm. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> you and Dan know something. Shared at the firehouse, did you? <laughs> Would you like to know? Yeah. Hang on a second. You read this email. Okay. Not out loud. Okay. Just to yourself. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Club? <laughs> Give it to yourself. Here, Chuck, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> we got that stuck to the fridge at the firehouse. Oh, did he? <laughs> Man. Uh, uh, we can start calling this segment Monday Morning Confessions. <laughs> we glow with the uh, police department coming over with dog stuff everywhere. So you want to you tell us what happened? You set up until today. Yeah, today my cat had went into diabetic <laughs> shock. <laughs> <What? I know>. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, is the cat okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. We, we can keep laughing. <laughs> Russ, I was running some errands this afternoon. I was at my normal dry cleaners waiting in line when this woman comes running in the door oh. screaming, I have an emergency. Oh, God. <laughs> don't quit, please. He can't. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Had this not come from uh, uh, this... Shelly, who's doing uh, legal work for my mom, I thought somebody just <laughs> concocted this. I have no doubt it's true because I know my mother all too well. <laughs> Frantically yelling, I have an emergency. She asks if she can cut in front of me in line. I tell her, sure. I'm not really sure what her dry cleaning emergency was until <laughs> she very dramatically proceeds to start telling everyone that she's there to pick up Trey Trenholm's clothes. Because her cat, which is in a diabetic shock, has shredded all of her. <laughs> she tells us she's Trey's mother and she needs to get him his clothes. It's all very weird. She got the clothes and ran out. All of us were left there standing speechless. <laughs> <laughs> How many of your clothes did the cat get at? Uh, the cat ripped, ripped my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and as I am rushing to the vet, I ask my mother who was at our office, which is right by the dry cleaners, she might go by and get my dry cleaning so I could have a non-ripped shirt. <laughs> I love her, but I have no doubt. <laughs> why would she... Uh, why, well, what did you tell her? Why, why, obviously, you said something to, to put her in a panic to make it an emergency at the dry cleaners. <laughs> she was panicked about the cat, and she wanted to rush over to the vets with me. And oh, okay. I said, no. I said, you'll be fine. Could you go by and pick up my dry cleaning so I could have a shirt later that's not ripped? And obviously... She hops in the catmobile. <laughs> <laughs> And turns the siren on. <laughs> I 
sat at the computer for almost 20 minutes before I could get up. <laughs> uh, why was a cat in a diabetic shock? Um, he had gotten, after he'd gotten his insulin this morning, evidently he had gotten sick and thrown everything up and his glucose level went way, way down. And simply by the grace of God, I went by our house, was picking up some mail and was going to put the cat outside and I could tell he was disoriented and couldn't really walk well or anything. So I figured that's what it was. Rushed him to the vet. What did the vet say? Said he was in a diabetic shock. What did he give him? Syrup. What kind of syrup? Um, I guess maple. I don't know. They just said they give him, or maybe just that corn syrup, whatever, just to get his sugar up, sugar levels up. That happened to my dog uh, when she was a puppy. Took her outside to, you know, just go to the bathroom, and she just fell down right there. Gave her some honey, and she just barked right back up. But the cat's okay. <laughs> cat's much better now. How many of your clothes did the cat get at? <laughs> just one shirt. I, I, your mom said you shredded all of your clothes. I, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the way you get to the front of the line. You said a shirt. Well, if you're going to come up with an emergency, yes. I would pick something other than a, a wigged out cat. <laughs> Stop it. I have the email if you'd like to see it because I printed everyone a copy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's the cat now? It's still at the vets. Oh, okay. How long before you get him out? Uh, providing he continues to eat and his sugar glucose level stays up, they'll release him probably about five. Do you need to go uh, pick him up or they have after hours? No. Uh, Mom and a cat, cat mobile can <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's probably the first time that a uh, uh, dry cleaner has ever had anyone come in screaming. <laughs> With an emergency. Yeah. Emergency for any reason. I, <laughs> uh, there's... And just, uh, again, the odds of me finding out. Yeah. Are pretty good. Well, obviously. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere, for that matter. Much less here. <laughs> How are we doing, Chloe? Uh, breaking about two minutes. All right. Uh, line two. Yeah. Is it about Trey's mom? Uh, nope. Wow. Well, I just says up on the roof. I didn't know if she's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I was. Uh, I was listening to you guys. You guys can't get anybody out there to fix your roof. Uh, well, I don't know if we have any damage yet or not. You want me just to check it out for you? Sure. Okay. Um, are you guys on the air right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just gonna get your address, and I'll go. I'll go by there and take a look at it for you. And... What part? Of t what part of town do you service? Uh, we do all the Dallas Fort area. Oh. All right. Uh, all that stuff, so. Hang on a second. Brad, get his number, will you? Thank you. Do you know for a fact he's a roofer? That's why I said get his number. Okay. <laughs> I could like Jake has. You ever been on a roof? Mm, I've seen plenty. Yeah. They're That's like a, this. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them are like this. Yeah. You got stuff sticking out the top. I won't step on that. Yeah. <sighs> How big is your house? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty big. Two story. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's further up off the ground, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's two stories. It's... I bet I should charge more for that. <laughs> 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 All right. Did you get his number? Oh, that was quick. Because it looked like you were on the other line at the same time. Are you got help in there? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you get that one, I'll get this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to break here? Yes, All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Everyday life where nothing is forbidden. The Russ Martin Show on Live 1053. What do you get when you cross a chicken and an express? Fast, hot, delicious chicken express tenders. Chick, chick, chicken express. We're waiting for you. It's prime time and you're surfing, but there's nothing on you on a watch. Yep, you've hit it, my friend, the black hole. At least a half hour to your next show. That's where we come in. I'm Kenneth Taylor with TXA 21 News, first in front. And I'm Tracy Cornett. We're filling the void with the day's top stories in news, weather, and sports every half hour from 7 to 9. So you can get the information you need and then get back to your favorite shows. Committed to North Texas throughout prime time. TXA 21 News, first in prime. Will the King of Queens take his father-in-law to the championship game in St. Louis? Think of it as your birthday gift to him. No, my birthday gift to him is that he's not living in the VA hospital. <laughs> the friendly skies will never be the same. What do you got there? My sleeping pills. Nervous wire, huh? Oh, yes. More than once I've stormed the cockpit in a panic. But these days, that's frowned upon. <laughs> Next time on The King of Queens, watch King of Queens at 6 and 6.30 on TXA 21. Chalk Talk Casino Resort presents Rolling for Wheels Chrysler 300 Giveaway. Play all your favorite games like poker, blackjack, or slots each Tuesday through March 20th to earn entries. Plus, every half hour from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., we'll draw selected winners to roll the Choctaw dice for a chance at big bonus cash. Up to $100 times the number you roll on the dice. Weekly winners will also receive additional grand prize entries. Then on Tuesday, March 27th, one lucky person will roll away in a new $36,000 Chrysler 300 luxury sedan. Roll in for excitement. Roll out with loads of cash and a brand new car. For details, visit ChoctawCasinos.com. Choctaw Casino Resort, one hour north of Dallas on 75. Durant, Oklahoma. Adventure awaits. Ah, the internet. How did we ever get along without it? It gives us email, online shopping, corporate intranets, and more. And if you're like most people, you get the internet at home, at work, and maybe at an occasional Wi-Fi hotspot. But what if I told you that you could get high-speed wireless internet on your laptop from Verizon Wireless virtually anywhere you get cell phone service, like at a city park or the airport? It's your mobile internet. You don't need cables. You don't need an outlet. All you need is a broadband access PC card that slides easily into the side of your laptop and a data service plan from Verizon Wireless, America's most reliable wireless broadband network. Once you have it, you'll likely ask, how did I ever get along without it? For more information, go online to verizonwireless.com slash business or visit a Verizon Wireless store near you. Broadband access, speed, coverage, reliability. Verizon Wireless, it's the network. Broadband access is available to more than 202 million people in 242 major metropolitan areas. Network details at verizonwireless.com. All right, you've heard me talk about uh, all my experiences shopping at Ashley Furniture, and I actually started shopping there before I started doing spots for them. That's how the endorsements came about. They're easy, uh, even easier to find now with seven Dallas Fort Worth locations. And once you go into the the showroom, you'll see why. That's why I've got my house packed full of Ashley furniture from now the new bar in my office, uh, the family, the formal dining, formal living. Uh, you go to the uh, website, ashleyhomestores.com. Take a look at the uh, all the different collections, the showroom. Uh, you can read about financing. 
Uh, also, a, a lot of the furniture is made with Durapella. That's a registered trademark of Ashley Furniture. It's a high-tech fabric. It's a breakthrough in comfort, and it also repels stains. Seven easy-to-find Dallas Fort Worth locations. The new one in Frisco, Plano, Mesquite, Grapevine, Arlington, Fort Worth, uh, and North Richland Hills. Seven stores, one phone number. 817-633-6838. Or you can go uh, check out the uh, the showroom online, ashleyhomestores.com. Is juggling work, kids, and your life taking the fun out of TV? Then schedule your television around your time with a DVR from Dish Network. Watch Saturday Night Live on Sunday morning. Pause live TV to let the dog out. It's all about your time, and it's about time. Introducing Dish DVR Advantage from Dish Network, the everything-you-need TV package for one low price. For just $39.99 a month for 10 months, get over 200 all-digital channels, including local channels, and free standard professional installation with no equipment to buy. The two-room DVR comes standard. No hidden fees, no additional monthly charges. Call Dish Network now at 1-888-231-DISH and get your choice of HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, or Stars Movie Pack free for three months. That's 1-888-231-DISH. Or visit Radio Shack, Sears, or any authorized Dish Network retailer. Dish DVR Advantage. It's about time. Offer ends 531.07. All prices, packages, and programming subject to change without notice. Requires $49.99 activation fee. 18-month commitment and credit card auto pay. 10-month discount requires mail-in redemption. Restrictions, credit approval, and early cancellation fee apply. The Gecko Explains Texas. Ah, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, you, you mentioned Texas, and everyone's like, careful, everything's bigger in Texas. I'm like, look, okay, I'll get it, right? I'm a tiny little fella, but don't worry, I can take care of myself. Geico, they're like, oi, just to be safe, remind everyone why you're there in the first place. We offer really low car insurance rates in Texas, so relax, everyone. I'm here, and I'm fine. I've got to be honest, though. I do look slightly bigger. Geico.com. 15 minutes could save you 15% on car insurance. The Geico Business Model Explained. 1. Save people lots of money on car insurance. 2. Offer exceptional claim service and be available 24-7. 3. Make it easy to get to GEICO. Online, on the phone, or at your local GEICO office. And 4. And this is important. Keep your business model a secret so others don't try to steal it. Oh boy. Go to GEICO.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. 15 minutes could save you 15%. And now with a look at traffic, here's Bill from the Skycopter. Thanks, Sheila. Wow, I am looking at this really attractive girl stuck in traffic. She's looking up. She's waving at me. This is so cool. Get back to your senses with McDonald's all-new honey mustard snack wrap. The snack wrap you love now comes grilled to perfection with tender all-white chicken breast meat wrapped in a soft flour tortilla. Try it for just $1.29. Um, Bill, you can't hit on girls from the Skycopter. Oh, big traffic thing. Big traffic. Gotta call you back. Price and participation may vary. Limited time offer. Okay, McDonald's breakfast is here. Let's see. Uh, sausage biscuit, yours, right, Steve? And a fruit and yogurt parfait. I take it that's yours, Jill. What? You think just because I'm a woman I get the fruit? You got a lot to learn about the female. So the sausage biscuit is yours? No, I got the fruit. At least one thing's for sure. Right now you can get two sausage biscuit sandwiches for just two bucks. And if you need more help in the morning, visit morningimpaired.com. For a limited time, prices and participation may vary. Ask for details. Brenda Coates is a real Geico customer, not a paid celebrity. So to help tell her story, we hired Mr. Burt Bacharach. Last year I was rear-ended by a Geico customer. I was hit in the rear. First thought in my mind was about that funny lizard. Lizard licks his eyeball. I was so impressed with how they handled my claim, I switched. I hope I'll never get hit in the real again. Geico. Real service, real savings. Someone knowing your name is no small thing. Dedicated fraud specialists there for you if your identity is stolen. That's reassuring. Not needing direct deposit with your free checking is truly free checking. Wachovia has just been rated number one in customer satisfaction for the sixth straight year. And it's not because of one big reason, but all the little ones. Are you with Wachovia? Rating based on fourth quarter 2006 ACSI customer satisfaction results of the largest U.S. retail banks. Man, these are awesome. Yeah, I didn't even know that Buffalo Wild Wings had ribs. Oh, yeah, and the hickory flavor is so good. Uh-oh. Uh, uh what? There's only one rib left. Hmm. Well, I should probably just take it. Wait, why do you get it? Because I'm a man, and men have bigger stomachs. Says who? Says science. No way. Uh, well, I, I suppose you think you should get it? As a matter of fact, I do. Why? Well, what about the notion of women and children first? No, honey, that's just for boats. What? Yeah, okay, well, what about the fact that women already have an extra rib? That's just a myth perpetrated by man to subjugate women. Subject. <laughs> subject. <laughs> I don't know what that means, okay? But, 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 but I know this. 
Men invented fire. What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? What, are you repeating everything I say? What, are you repeating everything I say? Uh, you can have the last rib. You can have the last rib. Oh, all right, thanks. Ah! Ribs and more ribs at Buffalo Wild Wings. A pound of our lip-smacking, glazed, and grilled ribs. They taste great straight up or dipped in your favorite signature sauce. And they're just one more reason why at Buffalo Wild Wings, you have to be here. Describe my world in 10 words or less. My world is trying to fit uh, 25 hours into 24. Oh, I gotta run. Whatever your world is about, AT&T can deliver it. Need to get things done faster? For as low as $14.99 a month, AT&T Yahoo High Speed Internet is the fastest internet in Texas for the price. It gives you the speed you need for faster connections to deliver all the things you do online. Working from home, paying bills, emailing family and friends, sharing photos, streaming video, shopping, downloading movies and music, and with connections this fast, you won't need 25 hours. No wonder we're the nation's largest provider of broadband DSL. Call 1-800-PICK-ATT or visit att.com. AT&T is the most complete provider for the way you live with TV, broadband, home phone, and wireless. The new AT&T. Your world delivered. Comparison of major broadband providers, residential customers only, requires qualifying AT&T local service. For details of additional charges and terms, call 1-866-416-6471 toll free or visit att.com slash offer details. I climbed the building with suction pads. Forty stories below me, the neon city glittered like an ocean. I let myself in with a skeleton key. There were Rembrandts on the walls, and the walls went on forever. This was a man who could have anything. His face smiled from every picture on the grand piano. Acapulco Beach Party, Paris Nightclub, Ski Lodge, and always the glass, the ice, the liquid gold. I had a hunch, and yeah, lying on the shelf, there was the purple bag. The diamonds were in it. But if the diamonds were in the bag, where was the bottle? I found it in the wall safe, the unmistakable round shape, moonlight dancing on gold, crown royal. And that's when the alarms went off, like a pack of cats in heat. Crown Royal, blended Canadian whiskey imported by the Crown Royal Company, Stanford, Connecticut, 40% alcohol by volume. Enjoy our quality responsibly, but don't drink if you're under 21. Know how you drink a Crown Royal hanging from a skyscraper? Straight up. It's time to get trashy. And if you haven't gotten the tickets for the party of the year, get them now. Because the deal we're offering won't last long. Live 105.3 and Bud Light presents the 2007 White Trash Party. Friday night, March 23rd at the Palladium, formerly Gillies, Dallas. Featuring our favorite white trash band, Loverboy. The Ross Martin Show Band. Live1053.com. Use the code Russ Martin. That's one word. Russ Martin. And tickets are just 15 bucks while they last. Part of the ticket proceeds will benefit the Russ Martin Show Listeners Foundation, supporting the families of police officers and firefighters who have courageously surrendered their lives in the line of duty. Brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. The attorneys at 1 800 The Dogs. RodneyAnderson.com with CTX Mortgage. Ashley Furniture Home Store. And by Four Wheel Parts and Service. Get your tickets now so you can get trashy with a Russ Martin Show and live 1053. Just Breaks, America's brake safety experts. KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, live 105.3. Don't risk that important presentation. Hurry into Office Depot for all of your design, printing, and shipping needs. From a few copies to bound presentations, Office Depot can help. Let Office Depot lend you a hand. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. I think Seidlin knew, regardless of what he did well, with the decision, that it was going to end up coming back to his court because wh- whatever he said, whatever ruling he made, they were going to appeal. Yeah. So now what? There, where there's a stay, uh, who issued this one on Anna Nicole's? An appellate court issued 
I guess, agreed to hear <laughs> her mom's appeal, and so they issued a stay on Sideland's order. I told you, what did I say last week? It's going to be another week and a half before they plant this bitch. I think you're being conservative. Well, at a certain, well, you know what? I was going to say, at a certain point, reality's got to set in, and you got you got to stick her someplace. But if they can leave James Brown sitting in a cooler for three months, <laughs> mm-hmm. and he's still not planted, is he? No, they said they finally came to an agreement and would probably bury him Thursday or Friday of this week. But I, I don't know who ordered that. I don't know if it was a judge or it was a request by the family. They want to pull a bunch of DNA out of him just in case anybody pops up claiming to be his kid. Yeah. Or anybody in the future pops up and goes, you know. Yeah. So we got to go back to Judge Clown's court? It's possible that in the appeals court, they'll either rule on it or they could, they found something they don't like, they could remand it back to his court and say, do this differently. So, yeah, you could have Circus Brown, too. I can't wait. I'm not going to watch it this time. <laughs> what are you going to watch instead? I got Bob Newhart. You're going to have to find something. It's and Bob on. Newhart. A little more realistic. <laughs> You know, the networks are just on their hands and knees praying. That goes back to silence. Uh-huh. Court. He's a buffoon. And there, there's no, he doesn't really have any range. It's all sensitive and caring. Mm-hmm. From time to time, you've got to be an ass. If you're going to go this route, balance. have some edge to it. Balance it somehow. <clears throat> And not once did he t- tell anybody, shut up. No. Oh, he told him. He one came, time, he came close. Yeah, they didn't do it. He never told him, shut up. You're right. He told him that that'll be enough. And she went on for another minute. Yeah, the court has made its ruling. Who were we talking to? Um, yeah, we talked to Judge Harris about this over the weekend. Right. Oh, what did he do to her? Oh, well, that's right. He locked her up. <laughs> did he really? <laughs> He had an attorney that was trying to make a point. He said, I've already heard it. Step back from the bench. She kept going. He said, bye. Good. Did he really? Yeah. That'd be fun to see. Just I don't think he had to say anything. He pointed at the bailiff. Bailiff grabbed her and hauled her out. <laughs> she said, what happened? He said, you're going away for 30 days. Tell you something else. Damn. What was he going to bump it up to? 120? Yeah, whatever. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, you should so be a judge. I didn't have Is anything. There, I know, but you should be one. These are part-time judges. <laughs> we could just do it on occasional weekends. JPs. How much power do they have? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I know they, you know, in a lot of small towns, they sit on you know, traffic tickets and, and whatnot. I don't know if they ever hear anything. Could I wig out and give somebody the needle? <laughs> no. <laughs> not for speeding. Well, not everything that goes before JP is speeding. A lot of times it's uh, civil matters. Um Things of consequence. Like what what that you're gonna give somebody the needle for. Sometimes people put fences in the wrong spot. So we kill them? This court does. <laughs> and you just motion to the bailiff. They don't even wait, they just go do it right there, right? In front of you? Yeah. We just have a needle in his holster. <laughs> Blow dart. <laughs> You don't have to get close to you. All right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Case closed. I don't believe I'd like, I'd like to bring my... I'm getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, you never have to worry about the decorum. <laughs> Your Honor, I object. Oh, really? <laughs> I was wondering who was going to be first. <laughs> I wonder if I could get a TV... Show court thing. If you're blow dart and lethal injections, I would think that'd be pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing possibly Channel 8 might cover that. I want him to carry it. Carry it live. Did you miss what I said? You want your TV show? Yeah. You ain't going to get your own TV show. You can only kill somebody once for putting up a fence. (laughs) I can broaden out. To other offenses? Yeah. High grass, possibly. Creates a problem with rodents. <laughs> they don't get the dart in the, in the neck for that. 
put that on the wheel, Club. <laughs> Dart in the neck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you seen the new ones nowadays that they'll have, like, the gun shows and the sporting goods stores? I was talking about a lawn dart. Oh, oh never Jesus. mind. Jesus. <laughs> they don't sell those anymore. They don't? No. No. Why not? They quit because they're dangerous. They're not dangerous. They are dangerous. No, they're not. It's a big, hunking piece of metal you throw through the sky with a pointy end. Okay. I can run to Walmart and get a shotgun. <laughs> and they won't sell me a lawn dart? <laughs> <laughs> well, those are meant for little kids. That no, was, they're not. Well, they, they were marketed to children. Well, even they don't a, sell them to kids. Even a 12 or 13-year-old shouldn't be do, throwing those around. When did they stop making those? They stopped selling them 10 years ago. You ever seen one, Trey? I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen one in a store in years. Maybe longer than that, yeah. Yeah. Were you about to say something now? Uh, just on December 19, 1988, all lawn darts were banned from sale in the United States. What a jack job. <clears throat> Why? Well, it actually kind of is a jack job. It says they were only responsible for uh, the deaths of four children. You said they have to have a higher number for you ban it for everyone's enjoyment. I just think the idea of a, of a flying metal dart through the air that normally weighed, what, a couple of pounds? Uh, I wouldn't say that much, but the, it was... The, the dart was pretty thick, and heavy. Oh, I'm surprised only four kids were killed. Well, what happened to the sport? <laughs> There's other things to do in the backyard. Try badminton. badminton. Horseshoes. Horseshoes. You can still throw hunks of metal around. They just don't have pointy tips. What if my background is in lawn darts? <laughs> <laughs> and you've been out of work for a while. <laughs> I know what I know. One thing that burns absolutely no calories. What's that? Curling. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's seen Mark Davis on TV? Yes. Oh. Now I know why he's doing spots for foundation repair. <laughs> <laughs> Never put two and two together until just now. Yeah. Home remodeling, foundation repair. How much weight he gained? <laughs> Walking around like Harry at the Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's tacked on 25 pounds? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Since we had him up here. Yeah, obviously, he didn't stick to that diet he was going on after Hal Jay's heart attack. No, it looks like that's who he ate. <laughs> <laughs> well, why is it fat people want to tuck in their shirts? Because I'm watching the spot. I know it's for foundation, not foundation, it's uh, home remodeling. Mm -hmm. I got no clue the, the name of the company. All I can focus on is him, his shirt's tucked in, and the seam of the front of his shirt don't line up with his pants. <laughs> and it's got a couple of openings in it. Yes. Oh. I don't know. When I put on weight, that's the first thing I did, start wearing the shirt tails out, you know, accentuate it. What are they? Lawn darts? I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Johnny. Hey. Yes. I got a set of those lawn darts. What do you want for them? I don't want anything for them. I just thought it didn't lighten the show. Yes. Where are you right now? I'm in Fort Worth. All right. Hang on a second. I can't get them there today. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. Brad, get him a directions or something. <clears throat> Clo, put those on the wheel. Well, again, the wheel of punishment is is, is edging towards the uh, mort mortality line. That's why we call it punishment. That's excessive, though. It depends on what you did. He was going to kill somebody in court for having a fence. A uh, too high fence. Yeah. No, I no moving it in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh. Was he, is this just a lawn dart story? Yeah. This show's about as random as you can get, <laughs> short of being. On dope. <laughs> Let me guess. <clears throat> Wikipedia. Oh yes. <laughs> Lawn darts, also called jarts or yard darts, is a lawn game for two players or teams. A lawn dart is says uh, lawn dart set usually includes four large darts and two targets. The game play an objective similar to both horseshoes and darts. The darts are similar to the ancient Roman plumbata. That's how I read it. All right. They're typically 12 inches long with a weighted metal or plastic. I never saw the plastic ones. 
We always went for the metal ones. Yes. Uh, at one end of three plastic fans on a rod at the other. The darts are intended to be tossed underhand toward a horizontal ground. That don't, uh, banned from sale in the United States. While the tip may not be sharp enough to obviously be dangerous, when misused, these darts can cause skull punctures and other serious injuries. What's the face? They can, obviously. Then wear a helmet. A lot of big-time sports use uh, headgear. This is for kids in the backyard. Now, why are they selling lawn darts to kids? It's a toy. And now, because I decided to get back into the field, I can't <laughs> buy one because you got parents who don't watch what their kids are doing and buying stuff like that. <laughs> why don't you just get them a, a, a nice pooling chainsaw? <laughs> it was- Gas it up. Hand it to them. It was a game. Little kids shouldn't be throwing darts at each other like that. They shouldn't be throwing <laughs> pulling chainsaws either. That's what I just said. I know. Why do kids have them? They do, but, and so now they're going to blame the lawn dart industry. Yes. Well, probably the lawn dart people just quit quit uh, making them themselves because they didn't want the lawsuits. If four kids were killed, I guarantee you, hundreds were injured. You don't know that. Well, you know, doubt seriously. Four four just got killed, and the rest of them. Well, what does your research say? I'm doing your research. Well, but normally, four, okay. Four people well, we die. don't talk about things we don't know about around here. <laughs> See, <laughs> I forgot the rules momentarily. <laughs> it says they're banned in the United States. Are they made in other countries? Oh, uh, let's see. Consumer on December nineteenth, nineteen eighty-eight. All lawn darts were banned from the sale in the United States by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Lawn darts used in an outdoor game have been responsible for the death of four children. The latest bit. Well, why don't we just outlaw power windows? I bet more kids die each year from power windows than they do from lawn darts. You probably. I'm starting a new no, campaign. No, we have. Well, we have to have windows in cars. People want power windows here, and, and people are working on ways to make those safer. Where if they hit a certain amount of stress, they they go back down. They should. Uh huh. You're right. I was telling my kids the other day. I don't know how we all made it through childhood without car seats. We didn't know from a car seat. I never sat in a car seat in my life, did you? No. No. But now, God forbid, you go to jail, I think, if you don't have your kid in a car seat. Yeah. And if you have it turned around the wrong way, pff, you might as well be giving the kid heroin. <laughs> 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 I'm serious. No, he's right. Yeah. When we are kids, if we, we got tired, we'd sleep on the back deck of the, the, exactly. the car, the window, you mm-hmm. know, where they had the... Cars aren't like that anymore, are they? No. Are they the you, big back deck no. behind the rear seats? Not anymore. Not anymore. And you'd get back there, and you'd get in trouble, and your dad would try to reach around and swap you. He couldn't yeah. get to you, so... Walt, Walt did that. Yeah. Friend of ours. <laughs> Why is it any time I think of Walt, even as a kid, I still see that full beard? <laughs> Me too. I don't know. So you see this, like, six-year-old bearded kid <laughs> running amok in the back of a, a Delta 88. Uh-huh. His dad tells him if he doesn't knock it off, he's going to whoop his ass. So Walt climbs up on the rear deck of the... the the back window so his dad can't get at him. Dad slams on the brake. <laughs> Here comes Walt. Catches okay. him mid-flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm back here. Nothing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> now, why is it everything got more dangerous as 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 the you get to the the younger and younger yeah, generation? It's, it's my theory: we're building a softer and softer generation. Every, we didn't wear helmets. No, I never. You know. Bike or any pad, yeah. No. I learned how to ride a bike not only without a helmet, but on gravel. And trust me, I learned how to. I learned how to ride a bike real fast. No, chemicals right there on the on the bottom floor under the sink. Was there a little latch? No, there was no latch on the on the door. No, you don't even put tops on the chemicals. <laughs> My parents would stick straws in the top of all of them. <laughs> like crazy straws. Just yeah, <laughs> just so it's enticing. <laughs> Takes the bleach a minute and a half just to get to your lips. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's it's just the fact 
when people started suing for anything, then companies who normally would make an innocuous product had to start sticking warnings on because you got warnings were stopped making them altogether. Yeah, you, you got people that were um, trying to tip over Coke machines to bust into them, and they'd fall on them and kill them. Then the Coke, the the the, the company that made the machines liable. So then they got to stick signs on the side of it. Don't try and tip this over. I love those little signs. This comes over, you die. Not our fault. Even though you're trying to break into it. Mm -hmm. To me, that's just like a built-in safety feature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crime deterrent. Already there. Yeah. Gravity. Not to mention the drinking and smoking while pregnant. Who does that? Well, say back in the day, you know... Moms wouldn't, they didn't have like, you know, the Surgeon General's warning as far as, you know, uh, fetal risk and everything. Well, I think a lot of that came with time and, and studies. Yeah. And, and you'd I, have low birth weights based on, you know, heavy smokers. Yeah. This ties into all the other stuff we, you know. But I'll tell you what, you mentioned power windows. When we were in Florida, got a rental car. No power windows, no power locks. I don't know how we survive without those. Why? You just don't realize what a pain in the ass it is. What kind of car did you get that had no power? Oh, God, it was a Chevy Cobalt. <laughs> but it just... Was it like a dollar a day? <laughs> <laughs> no, you go to a dollar rental car? No. <laughs> they just... They had Daytona such a big weekend that... They bring out older cars to rent? No, it was brand new. They make brand new cars with no power windows. Yep. And no power locks. Yep. I didn't know that. I didn't know For a fleet, yeah, they'll make them like rental cars. Yeah, they make them... A lot of times, as cheap as possible. But that is the biggest pain in the ass to actually have to think about going back and lock, you know, pushing the lock down. Oh, I didn't think about on, that. You're so used to just hitting a button, everything locks, unlocks. You got to go stick the key in, turn it. What a pain. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us about rolling down the window, or was that too traumatic? <laughs> <laughs> Still a gout slick for that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. Air conditioner was off, got hot, I died. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I looked around for the button. There was this ice cream handle crank, but I wasn't hungry. <laughs> I didn't want no ice cream. I want out. <laughs> <laughs> How much was it to rent the car? Oh, God, I mean, still like 40 bucks a day. Oh, screw job. Supply but, and demand, yeah. Yeah. Well, now you know to go ahead and reserve a car and tell them you'd like <laughs> power locks. <laughs> Nothing with knobs. <laughs> no cranks. Let's see. Uh, responsible for deaths for children, the latest being in early 97 near Elkhart, Indiana. Lawn darts remain legal for use in the United Kingdom, so I could get them online. That's, but they may not. I don't know if they're banned being, to be shipped here. But if it said something happened in 97, obviously. Well, sure. People hung on to them as mementos. Yeah. Uh, similar games. Crown darts is a variation using the same equipment in which darts are tossed towards a target dart instead of a plastic ring target. Cub, K-U-B-B, -B, is a similar throwing game involving wooden batons instead of darts. References. TossingGames.com. Excuse me. No, sure. <clears throat> How we doing, Chloe? Uh, breaking a minute. Yes, Adam. Yeah, uh, we made up our own game as a kid. I'm surprised we made it through it. We used to, after the parents would go to bed, we would stand out in the road in a circle and chunk the, dark, the lawn darts up in the air. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Who ate it? Yeah, my stepbrother caught one in the foot. Yeah. <laughs> he went to the hospital, and they took the lawn dogs, the rest of the lawn dogs away from us, so we got socks and filled them up with gravel. You had to get what? We got socks and filled them up with gravel instead when they took the darts away from us. And, and we still got pretty screwed up. What I happened? It was, it, it was fun. We're not wusses like the kids are today. <laughs> of course, if I see my kids doing that, I'd probably smack the hell out of them. <laughs> Anybody get hurt with the socks full of gravel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all kinds of bumps and bruises. <laughs> but it was fun. You 
you've got somebody's foot with a lawn dart, you missed their head by eight inches, maybe? Yeah, when we were kids, we weren't thinking about it like that. Yeah, you sound like you've uh, outgrown that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game, though. You know if you lose. We used to have BB gun wars. Yeah, we did, too. Yeah. yeah. We did that. We also had bottle rocket fights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, my cousin was holding one. And he, for whatever reason, he's holding his other bottle rocket, his stash, mm -hmm. reversed the way he's holding his other bottle, the, the one he's launching. Got you. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so I see it light the fuses in his hand, and I can't scream fast <laughs> enough to drop it. Well, you didn't try. Well, when you're 12, you're distracted by a lot of things. You're going through puberty. <laughs> I think you could say, hey, drop those. Well... You wait. Looking back on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right here. All right, we're back. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. Contenders come and go, but there's only one afternoon champ. The Russ Martin Show on Live 105.3. This important announcement is brought to you by the attorneys at 1-800-THE-DOGS. In 1536, King Henry VIII of London caught his then-wife Anne Bolin cheating. Having been convicted of adultery, he had her head cut off. In 1541, Henry VIII caught his wife Catherine Howard cheating, and he ordered her head to be cut off. Today, this is not an acceptable way to end your marriage. First, you are not the king of England. And second, it is a crime to harm your wife regardless if she's a cheating, well, lady of the evening. So, if you wish to end your marriage, simply call the attorneys at 1-800-THE-DOGS. They can represent you in your divorce and help with child custody and support issues. 1-800-THE-DOGS, a more humane way to get rid of your wife. Divorce, bankruptcy, criminal law, car wrecks. 1-800-THE-DOGS, legal representation with bite. Disclaimer, no member of the firm is British. They just thought the accent sounded cool. Advertising paid for by Michael Rubin. Hey, guys. Yes, Mr. Garage Monkey. Can you get your hands off your drive shaft for a minute and check out my headlights? Then I can tell you about the Baby Dolls Bike Show coming up sponsored by Dallas Sports Pages on Saturday, March 31st. Every type of bike is welcome to enter. Entry fee is only $5 and the first 100 entries get a goodie bag. Entry fee includes free cover at Baby Dolls all day and free lunch. Must be 21 to enter. Professional judging by local celebs will start at 4 p.m. to so get your classic bike, antique bike, or sports bike over to Baby Dolls on Saturday, March 31st for the Baby Dolls Bike Show, sponsored by Dallas Sports Pages. Come to Baby Dolls today and get an entry form or go to our website, babydolls.com, and download a copy. The Baby Dolls Dance Contest is only around once a year. Don't miss it Sunday night. Baby Dolls, Shady Trail and Northwest Highway at 35 in Dallas. Babydolls.com. Tonight on NBC, a spectacular night begins with an all-new deal or no deal with a quarter-million-dollar offer. And what's left on the board is even more. This is huge. Then on Heroes, all along you've had questions. Did you make me this way? And tonight you'll get answers. He's not a paper salesman. As Heroes goes to the next level. This is the truth. With a stunning ending that will leave you wondering. There's got to be another way. And finally, the premiere of TV's next great drama. You remember the Donnellys, right? From the Oscar-winning writers of Crash, the Black Donnellys. Four brothers who can only count on one thing. He needs us. Each other. Entertainment Weekly calls The Black Donnellys one of the most ambitious series in years. What if he dies and he never knows that I loved him? The premiere of The Black Donnellys after Deal or No Deal and Heroes. All new NBC Tonight. It all happens tonight starting at 7 only on NBC5. If you're in the market for a uh, new car, truck, motorcycle, or SUV, uh, the easiest way to get into one is DNM Auto Leasing. When you lease from DNM, you can save... 40, 50, sometimes 60% every month over buying a car because you're only paying for the portion of the vehicle that you use. You're paying for the depreciation. So if you uh, lease a vehicle 
with um, and it, it, with a high resale, that means it's going to depreciate less. Your payments are going to be lower. Uh, how long have I been doing these spots? Seven years? At least. Yeah. Okay. I got this email. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, finally getting me to pull my head out of my ass and lease a car from DNM. It was uh, definitely the most pleasurable car shopping experience of a lifetime. Took me about 15 minutes of phone conversation with Brad, my salesman. He had me a new Honda Civic on the way from uh, to DNM. Exactly what I wanted. I came in on Saturday morning, and after about 20 minutes of signing papers, getting my insurance faxed over, I was driving away. Wish I had a bolt cars this way. Uh, bolt cars this way. No BS with dealers. No pressure. Just a great experience. I'll tell everyone about DNM. See at the white trash party. So I don't know why it would take that long to figure out. It's at least worth a phone call. Whether you do business with DM, DNM or not, you can run the deal. If you're going to buy a car, let them look at the paperwork. And they tell you, all right, how many miles a year do you drive? They look at the figures. Yeah, it's going to be better for you to go ahead and buy that car. If not, they can tell you what it's going to cost to lease. Then you can make the decision yourself. Any area code 35 lease, 35 L-E-A-S-E or online, dmautoleasing.com. In Miami, people look for the wildlife. We just needed to get out. It's called a mancation. But CBS Tonight. Well, let's go get them. The wildlife is looking for them. <laughs> These city boys pay good money for their hunting weekends. Well, then I guess they got more than they pay for. Now. So our victim was the bait. The hunt is on. That is a significant amount of blood. The bear's not the only killer in Miami. A new CSA Miami, CBS Tonight. Someday, you'll have more room for everything in your home. To get that extra space, talk with a Wells Fargo banker about home equity financing today. You can use it for more room, your kid's education, or to consolidate bills. There's even a range of payment options to choose from. And you can get a relationship discount when you make automatic payments from your Wells Fargo checking account. Seize your someday. Call, click, or stop by and talk with your banker about a home equity account today. Wells Fargo, the next stage. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC, equal housing lender. Texas Motor Speedway has been a fan favorite for over a decade now. Even NASCAR Nextel Cup drivers agree. We asked Jeff Burton which speedway was his favorite place to race, and he said... Texas Motor Speedway. We also asked Bobby Labonte which speedway had the best full throttle fans in the world, and he said... Texas Motor Speedway. And hey, Kyle Petty, where's the place to be on April 15th for the Samsung 500? Texas Motor Speedway. Texas Motor Speedway. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is also looking forward to seeing you there. Hey, this is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Get ready for some great racing right here at Texas Motor Speedway. So, 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 so don't miss out on seeing these great drivers and others April 12th through the 15th at Texas Motor Speedway during the weekend events, including the Dallas Morning News Qualifying Days, the O'Reilly 300, and the Samsung 500. Get your seats now by calling 817-215-8500 or visit TexasMotorSpeedway.com. Welcome to Burger Bonanza. Can I take your order? Uh, yeah. I'd like an extra large spare tire. Oh, you want just the spare tire or the combo? I'll go with the combo. And your side? Um, do you have love handles? Yep, two to an order. Great. Uh, and a double chin as well. Honey, what do you want? Uh, can I get the badonka donk butt? You want the badonka donk butt or the badonka donk butt? Uh, just the badonka donk. Okay, you can get extra flabby for only 49 cents more. Ooh, sure. Oh, and what kind of thighs do you have? Thunder thighs and cottage cheese thighs. How about the thunder thighs? Sure. So that's one extra large spare tire combo, a side of love handles, a double chin, an extra flabby badonka donk butt with thunder thighs on the side. What are you really getting with your combo meal? Try a Subway Fresh Value Meal. A delicious sub with six grams of fat or less, baked glaze, and a diet soda. Subway. Eat fresh. For a limited time only, participating restaurants offer good on a regular six-inch sub bag of chips and 21 on strength. Fat contact refers to regular six-inch sandwiches on white or wheat bread without cheese or condiments that contain fat. Subway is registered trademark of Douglas Associates, Inc. Is juggling work, kids, and your life taking the fun out of TV? Then schedule your television around your time with a DVR from Dish Network. Watch Saturday Night Live on Sunday morning. Pause live TV to let the dog out. It's all about your time, and it's about time. Introducing Dish DVR Advantage from Dish Network, the everything-you-need TV package for one low price. For just $39.99 a month for 10 months, get over 200 all-digital channels, including local channels, and free standard professional installation with no equipment to buy. The two-room DVR comes standard. No hidden fees, no additional monthly charges. Call Dish Network now at 1-888-231-DISH and get your choice of HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, or Stars Movie Pack free for three months. That's 1-888-231-DISH. Or visit Radio Shack, Sears, or any authorized Dish Network retailer. Dish DVR Advantage. It's about time. 
Offer ends 531.07. All prices, packages, and programming subject to change without notice. Requires $49.99 activation fee. 18-month commitment and credit card auto pay. 10-month discount requires mail-in redemption. Restrictions, credit approval, and early cancellation fee apply. Dodge wants you to win one of six 2007 Dodge Ram Laramie Quad Cap 4x4s, VIP trips to Las Vegas, or Atlantic City to see world-class boxing, and more. All you have to do is prove you have what it takes to be Dodge Ram tough. Take a shot at the Dodge Ram Challenge featuring the Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Knock out your opponent to win one of over 9,000 prizes from Dodge. Only Dodge Ram, the longest-lasting, most durable line of full-size pickups, can bring you an online game like this. Are you tough enough to take the Dodge Ram Challenge? Go to cbssportsline.com slash Ram Challenge from now until March 31st and knock your opponent's block off. That's cbssportsline.com slash Ram Challenge. Compete and win with Dodge. Longest lasting based on RO Polk and Company vehicles in operation. Registration statistics 1986 to 2005. Durability based on longevity. Rock'em Sock'em Robots used by permission of Mattel Inc. Copyright 2007. Mattel Inc. All rights reserved. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Promotion ends March 31st, 2007. For official rules and details, go to cbssportsline.com slash ram challenge hey it's gavin and eric from free fm live 105.3 you guys gotta come join us at our dallas stars watching party that's at 6 30 p.m tomorrow at frankie sports bar and grill at 3227 mckinney avenue in dallas join fellow dallas stars fans for an evening of fun great hockey and the best dallas stars giveaway in town eric every time we do it it's packed and here's why we'll have autographed jerseys tickets t-shirts free fm merchandise you can even register to win the use of the dallas Dallas Stars vote for next summer. We're giving away something practically every break. So come out and join us tomorrow at Frankie Sports Bar and Grill, 3227 McKinney Avenue in Dallas. It's the biggest Dallas Stars watching party as the Stars make their way toward the playoffs. Brought to you exclusively by Free FM Live 105.3. This segment is brought to you by... Hmm? Why do you want to play this? Number five. It's time to get trashy. And if you haven't gotten the tickets for the party of the year, get them now. Because the deal we're offering won't last long. Live 105.3 and Bud Light presents the 2007 White Trash Party. Friday night, March 23rd at the Palladium, formerly Gillies, Dallas. Featuring our favorite white trash band, Loverboy. The Ross Martin Show Band. Don't tell my mom. Jesus. Woo, buddy. What care are you singing, singing that in? It seemed to be the one when I was doing it. it seemed very low. Yeah, it was too low. I don't know. It, it seemed to match at the time. Please don't ever play that again. Hello, what, uh, Chuck, what are we doing that? E? E to A? Yes. No, A to E. My bad. Let <laughs> me <laughs> hear... Uh, Whatever we started in. Good. I'm not singing this song. I suck at it. Let's hear some God Bless Texas. Yeah, this. <laughs> That's not my right key. Come on. I see no lot. I'm not doing it. Oh, come on. Mm-mm. See, I told you he was in the wrong key. You were in the wrong key, yeah. All right, sit down. I seen it. I'm not doing it. Wait a minute. Do it. Mm -hmm. Why? Let me hear you, Aiky Breaky. I'm not doing a Aiky Breaky. It blows. You heard it. You heard Aiky Breaky. I don't know why I sang it too low. I sang it too low in in that promo. And we start it in what? Breaky Breaky starts on A. Yeah, I sing, up. I sing more like, you can tell. See? Yeah, that's where we're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. No line. Let's... <laughs> 
let's just save it. Let's save it as a surprise. No, I don't like surprise. Oh, I, I think the audience would love us for more. <laughs> <laughs> they would love us more if it was a surprise. Mm-hmm. Harder for them to leave, too. If they're already there, they're going to stick through a sucky song to get to a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Not if we follow you with Everett. <laughs> That's true. And what, and what was up with you and Carlos on Saturday? I don't know what he was doing at the house. Well, obviously, he thought he was there for rehearsal. Chuck, did you tell him to be there? Somebody told him to be there. He was adamant about getting in. You were adamant about keeping him out. Why would he, he want to come into... Who's on the hotline? That's uh, Gail for traffic for you. Oh. Were you talking to her ahead of time? Uh, just a couple minutes, yeah. Mm-hmm. What did you guys talk about? Um, just the weekend stuff. Anything else? Mm, no. I take a look at my enormous penis <laughs> and my troubles start to melt away. <laughs> Anything like that? Um, that next next time I will. Yeah. <laughs> I take a look at my enormous penis <laughs> and the happy times are coming to stay. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. You have happy times? I gotta sing and I dance when I glance in my pants. I have the feelings like a sunshiny day. Yeah. Take a look at my enormous penis. And everything is going my way. <laughs> Where did you get that? Yeah, I don't know. He is always happy. Yeah, I've never seen him pissed about anything. <laughs> And why would you be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Come in. Yeah. Bank took your car back. House burnt down. Mass? Cat flipped out into a diabetic shock and ripped up all your clothes. <laughs> I got to do is look at your crank. Uh-huh. Happy day again. Mm-hmm. God. I got to see it. I don't want to. You don't want to see it. You've seen big cranks. We don't need to see it attached to somebody we know. I've never seen one in person, though. No, no, there's a reason for that. You're not gay. Most people don't see them in person. You see them on the internet when they're busy doing good things. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> not just normal standing out there being gay. Well, what kind of good things on the internet? If Are you looking taking... at some type of philanthropic big weenie site? No. <laughs> 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 Yeah, they're building children's camps. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me get Gail. Hi, Gail. Hi there. What do you got? <laughs> well, um, let's see. Oh, Don Davis Auto Group. All right. Real slowed you to earlier problems on I-30, and westbound 30 is heavy from Fort Worth Avenue over to Peak in Carrollton on southbound northbound 35 Simmons before the George Bush Turnpike. Three lanes are blocked by a wreck. Traffic right now backed up to Beltline at CHOV in the two left lanes. On eastbound 635 at the Preston on-ramp, there's a wreck and traffic is backed up to around Midway Road. In Bedford, westbound 183 past Brown Trail, the left lane is blocked and traffic's backed up to Central. Northbound 121 before Harwood, you've got the roadway reduced to one lane Lane. And in Halton City, a truck took out some power lines. <laughs> 377 is closed in both directions between Browning and Bonner as a result of that wreck where the truck took out the power line. <laughs> and I'm Gail Lightfoot on the Russ Martin Show. Thanks, Gail. 43 for the load tonight, then mid-70s uh, up until the weekend and into the 60s. 76 now at Live 105.3. I don't know why he showed up. Obviously, he thought he was the bass player. We didn't have a bass player. He wanted to get in and practice. Normally, when you get popped from a job, well, do you keep showing up the next week? Uh, well, I wouldn't. Okay. But I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, for some reason, he thought he's still in the band. I don't know why. And he was I passionate was... about getting in. Did he get in? No. All right. He was already there. Why not let him come in and practice? We don't have a... I know you don't care about bass. How long did we practice before the power went out? Oh, two hours. Did you notice we didn't have a bass player? No. All right. You know, that's really funny you say that, because I... No, I didn't. At all. I just... It's rude. I had left my pocket recorder at home. I recorded only beating on the door. <laughs> I wish I could have been there. Yeah. I'll try and remember to bring it tomorrow. <laughs> He's just out screaming. Oh, happy day. <laughs> 
I don't know. Because when I told him earlier in the week, I even uh, followed up with an email. Okay. And I copied Chuck on it. <laughs> we're we're going to do without a bass player for now. And did he respond? No. He but must, he didn't have to because I told him on the phone. He must be think, he must think you're kidding because he was screaming, this is BS in your front yard. I'm, I'm thinking, that's you don't know what neighbors or kids are running around out there. Yeah. And he's not, he's not being quiet. No, he's having a fit. A total Because he, he starts at the door and he realizes he ain't going to get in. He could see all of us, you know, kind of through that opaque glass. <laughs> We're in there. Yeah, because you could do through the front door. How do I do something about the front door? I don't know that I like that opaque glass because you can always see shadows. Well, you could change out your doors. I don't think it would give you... I mean, I, it would change the look of the front of your house, but... It's just two doors. I know, but they fit nicely. Well, I leave the doors there. Can I just put something over the glass? Mm. No, I think you probably need to change the doors. Why? What are you going to do, hang curtains? No. That's low rent. Mm -hmm. Foil. Uh -huh. <laughs> Might as well reap the uh, yes. energy savings. <laughs> He's going green. Yeah. <laughs> Inspired by Al Gore last night. I, I would. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I see Al Gore on television one more time. I yeah. don't care for whatever reason. I don't even care if he's dead. I see him on TV one more time. I'm going to throw up my feet. <laughs> I know. And that, that scene on the Oscars with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. and Anybody else see that? I, pull, I pulled the Kiss, audio. He, why did he just blow him on the stage? <laughs> I missed it. What did he say? Uh, uh, it was just, uh, it's, I, I forget why the two of them, oh, you got it? Cut 23, yeah. I forget why the two of them were on stage together, but it, it's just, it's. They're, uh, they're kissing Al Gore's head. Why is it Hollywood's embraced him? Uh, because it's, he. they're trying to be green happy. They're, what they were doing is they were making the announcement that this year the Oscars have gone green. I don't know what the hell that means. Looked like a lot of lights they were using. Lots of lights. And I don't. And I bet a lot of them showed up in. Limos, yeah, a uh, line of them, all of them down the street. They took that that wide shot of the street, limos as far as you could see. They want Al Gore to run for president. Hollywood does. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. it's a split, split camp, but a lot of them would like to see that because he's very heavy on the environmental agenda. What do they care? Well, that just kills me. They all drive around limos and, and fly everywhere in their private jets, but they're very concerned about the absolutely. Dan, what did you say Caprio drives? Yeah. Prius. Is that an electric car? No, that's like the, that's the uh, Toyota hybrid. Oh, electric and gas? Yeah. So I, he drives one. Uh, he, he's apparently his best friend, uh, Toby McGuire. He drives one as well. So I would expect him to drive one. <laughs> I'll bet you it's not the only car they own. It's probably one they show up places in. No, you know what? If you're going to be a celebrity and if you're going to take that green stance... You can't get all they got to do is get you in a shot one time in your Hummer and you're screwed. Mm, that's true. Yeah. No, I remember I saw a, um, one of those random celebrity TV shows on camp on uh, cable, and they were talking about Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire going to the same club, meeting up, and they pulled up right about the same time in their cute matching little Priuses. So, like something out of uh, Swingers. <laughs> yeah, but almost like the anti Swinger. Yeah. yeah, if you're making that kind of money and. See, that just pisses me off. Yeah. I understand wanting to be environmental. Well, hang on. Wait, I don't understand. Making that kind of money and what? Driving a, a, a Prius when you could have all sorts of luxury vehicles. Well, but if, if you're going to take the, 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 I'm more concerned about the environment, you can't drive one of those. Oh, get, an, get a hybrid Aston Martin. They'll build it for you. Damn it. Oh. Get a new cause. <laughs> <laughs> you can afford any cause you want. Yeah. That's why I don't have a cause. Because then they want you to stick to it. <laughs> I can't go green. No. Mm -mm. I got too many cars. <laughs> and too much trash to burn in your fireplace. Would I have to stop that if I went green? I would probably imagine. They might want you to recycle a little bit more. What if I burnt trees? They'd probably really look down upon, upon that one. Yeah, they love the trees. Yeah, they don't like really burning anything. Well, what am I supposed to do with it? Uh, put it in the trash can? Well, what's that fire pit out back for? <laughs> Entertainment? To keep warm? So, so far, party? it's serving its purpose. <laughs> when you have guests over. Hours of entertainment for you. Yeah. Chuck and I burn trash out there all the time. It's funny to us. I have no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> we put the, we pull one of the screens off the windows and throw it over the fire, so. God. You pulled the screen off the, 
your window. Put it over the fire so sparks <laughs> didn't. Yeah, if sparks don't fly. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not green and more kind of brown. I'm concerned about the environment. It's not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> And soon you'll have foil on the front doors. Yeah, and that'll that's, and that's going to drop. Uh, that's energy saving. Going to drop my energy probably a lot. Yeah, and you know those upstairs windows you, that face the street. You don't use most of those. You should yeah, I don't think I've ever opened one of those. Foil those up. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Trash that place up. <laughs> Would pie plates work better? Let me think. Nah, I got those hanging in the trees. Yeah, already. those work in the trees. <laughs> keeps the birds out. No, that's not what it keeps out. <laughs> <laughs> 23, cut number 23. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought it was 20. Right, 23. Uh, I take a look at my enormous penis. And everything is going my way. Bow, bow, bow. They say Al Gore's got a big one. He does? Yeah. It's a word. I didn't know that. I never heard that. I didn't either. Excuse me a second. I got to scat now. Okay. Uh, 23? Mm -hmm. And now, though, although our time is almost up, I just want to say I'm very proud. I don't know. I can listen to this again. Yeah. <laughs> it was hard enough to watch last night. He's cute. At the very end, he tries to be cute. Who, Gore? Mm, yes. Proud to be standing next to such an inspirational leader in the fight against global, global warming. Why is it the one group of people who should be able to do this can't read from a teleprompter? <laughs> the one thing they should be able to do. Nobody last else. night, short of Jerry Seinfeld, he was the only one that came off like he had something prepared and wasn't reading from a teleprompter. Everybody else felt like it was their first day in front of one. I would like to. It's as bad as this with Caprio. Yeah. And now, though, although our time is almost up, I just want to say I'm very proud to be standing next to such an inspirational leader in the fight against global, global warming. You are a true champion for the cause, Mr. Well, thank you. Thank you. That's another reason I don't like Hollywood. And I don't really know why. Because really, you, you should be concerned about the environment. Sure. Well, we should. But it's something about them latching on to Gore that's just irritating. And I'm not really sure why. I spun in circles and almost turned the TV off when he won the award. Oh, here we go. You knew it just validates. Happen. Oh, of course. Just validates all this, all this stuff. What was it called? Inconvenient Truth? Yes. Now, did Gore win or did the producer, whatever, director? Well, technically, I guess the... The documentary. The won. documentary producer won, but Gore was they, part of it. Oh, they brought him up and and fluffed him, you know, while accepting their award. Mm. Yeah. Now, are you sure? Are you positive that all this hard work hasn't inspired you to make any other kind? Do you have anything else I can listen to? <laughs> no, we'll play the rest of this. I guess I do have. Yeah, when he actually, when the documentary actually won the award. I don't understand. You don't want to hear the rest of this? No. Oh, I'll move to the next one. I don't understand how they get global warming and Hurricane Katrina locked in together. Because that's what the announcer goes during his, during his little walk, walk. They're walking up. Right. He's going, and due to Hurricane Katrina, they were, in, they were in New Orleans right before Hurricane Katrina. And that put the spotlight on global warming. Did I miss something? They're trying to say global warming is a tie into you know nature hurricanes. as far as bigger and worse or worse storms, including hurricanes, typhoons, all that. All right, what cut Can am I, I going to now? Uh, that one is cut number twenty-four. What is it, Troy? <laughs> and maybe the fact that I guess through the maybe the ocean rising, they've lost. I forget what they call the barrier around New Orleans, but they built the city underwater. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they they knew that city had an issue with water when they built it because they wouldn't put levees up to start with whenever they built that dump. 
Yeah, being that all the tombs are above ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they, yeah, this isn't something that just flashed on in the past five or six years. This isn't and something Al Gore figured out. <laughs> Look what Global War and has wiped out the city. <laughs> That's exactly the way that it comes off. The city's below sea level. You know why they call it that? Because that's where it is. Sooner or later, the sea's going to come get it. All it takes is a big, oh, I don't know, hurricane. Good thing you don't have any of those in the Gulf. They could just go into the Gulf and make the rounds. <laughs> it's amazing throughout all this. None of them, it's always New Orleans, none of them ever mention the fact that the Mississippi Gulf Coast Got it worse. was much worse. Yeah. And it, I mean, it's really been totally wiped out. All those people... I mean, it's, everything's gone. Well, it's almost like the way he reads this. It's almost like, had you listened to Al Gore, <laughs> none of this would have happened. And you don't really hear many stories about the, the rebuilding of uh, the Mississippi coast because mm -hmm. it's, it sounds like, hey, they got everybody out. Didn't they? For the most part, yeah. Okay. They did a better job at evacuation. Oh, and it also sat. Yeah, I'm guessing because I haven't seen it in the news, they're doing a better job at rebuilding. For the most part, yeah. A lot of them, Haley Barber, who's the governor of Mississippi, he took things under the state's you know purview, and, and they got there's still problems with FEMA, problems with federal money, but they're getting it done on their own a lot faster than New Orleans is. So even with the problems with FEMA, they're still moving along? Yes. Okay. 24? Yeah. Who is this? <clears throat> oh, it's them winning this the award. winning the award. And the Oscar goes to an inconvenient truth. Davis Guggenheim. Davis Guggenheim and the cast were scheduled to shoot in New Orleans the night before Hurricane Katrina hit. An event that brought home the threat and the impact of global warming. Wow. I made this movie for my children and my father taught me to make great movies. A beautiful wife. All of us who made this film, Laurie, Lawrence, Scott, and Leslie, we did so because we are moved to act by this man. I can't listen any more of this. Oh, let it play. I forget. Does Gore talk? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's getting ready to talk. Jeff Skolf. It was just that the, the whole undertone of this, that the Gore being there, whether he was up there the whole time or not, just... That and the undertone, the political undertones, even though they say, well, this isn't a, it's got nothing to do with either party. This is something that needs to be bipartisan right. or, is that right? right? Mm -hmm. For all of us. Right. Because the environment's going to affect all of us. Well, why does it feel partisan-ish? <laughs> and why don't you eat something else? <laughs> Eating all the bad things <laughs> for, to protect us? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's gained 40 pounds yeah. since the election. Mm-hmm. Funded it. John Lesher released it so beautifully. But all of us were inspired by his fight for 30 years to tell this truth to all of us. Thank you all. We are so inspired. We share this with you. Now he hands thank you the Oscar. I want to thank Tipper and my family, thank the Academy, and everyone on this amazing team. My fellow Americans. You know, oh, shut up. <laughs> You know what weirded me out when um, <coughs> Melissa Etheridge accepted mm -hmm. hers and she thanked her wife and her four kids. Yes. Why you got to say that? <laughs> Why don't you just say your family? Why you got to always point out that you're a dyke? <laughs> I don't need to know that. I appreciate the fact that you went cancer through cancer and therapy and you got your hair back and you're okay now. I don't want to know about you your, or your wife. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. I want you to know. I don't want to know. My beautiful wife. I'm oh. Kiss her right and in the it, mouth when I'm done here. Yeah. And they showed it. They I'd rather look at her than Al Gore. Yeah, absolutely. And she just gushed all over him, too. Who did? M Melissa. Didn't she, she won for a song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was she up there with Gore? Well, the song was for that The Inconvenient Truth. So uh -oh. she... Uh... Me and everyone on this amazing team, my fellow Americans, <laughs> people... All over the world, we need to solve the climate crisis. It's not a political issue. It's a moral issue. We have everything we need to get started. 
With the possible exception of the will to act, that's a renewable resource. Let's renew it. I guess he kept it short. He could have gone on and on and on. Uh, he, had he, plenty, he had plenty of time on stage. Whatever else he had to say, he knew he was going to get in. Okay. How are we doing, Chloe? What else is on here? Uh, from last night, really not much. Oh, it was pretty boring overall. Did that was it? All? You pulled out the Al Gore stuff yeah. as the highlights? There really wasn't much that was outstanding. Just I like Seinfeld. Hmm. I can pull that during the break. I don't want it that badly. Okay. Yeah. Scorsese winning. That was probably the highlight of the night. And that was fairly boring. It was pretty obvious. Pretty obvious when they bring up George yeah. Lucas, Steven Spielberg, and <laughs> Francis Ford Coppola. Who's going to get the Oscar? <laughs> Did I win on any of the bets? Um, I have those over here. You did. <clears throat> you won on? I think I got best picture wrong, didn't I? Yes, you did. Uh, you said Little Miss Sunshine. It was The Departed. I picked The Departed. All right. Uh, best animated feature, you picked Happy Feet. It was Happy Feet. Okay. Uh, on best actor, you picked Forrest Whitaker. It was Forrest Whitaker. Best actress, uh, you picked Meryl Streep. It was Helen Mirren. What else? You know, I kind of like to bang her. That old lady? Yeah. The old the old one. Then I, don't I have the right one? Yeah. No, you got the right one. She I mean, pulled her cans out in that movie, right? <laughs> uh, that part I missed. I'm going to find out, though. I think recently she's been in a movie where she popped out her hoops. <laughs> what is she? 300, 400 years old? Ooh, she's a dame, too. A what? A dame. Like the female equivalent of no, sir. Sir. Oh, okay. I'm not I thought it. I was getting a bonus because she was a chick. <laughs> <laughs> She's a hot dame. She. How old is she? <laughs> uh, born 1945. So. See, it's only 15 years older than me. That's a cougar, buddy. Yeah. That ain't a cougar. Yeah, right? it is. No, that's that's a, that's that's the epitome of cougar. Yeah, what? Let's see. I'm 46. So no, she's uh, 60. A chick that's in her 40s is a cougar. No, a chick in 60s. 60s. It is, can go into the 60s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, it's You all, would want to bang You your, got the sound wrong. You got the, yeah, it's all Oh, no, I was puking. That was, yeah. that's, something coming that's not the way it goes. I don't know. Rare. That's a cougar. She's got good hoots, but 60. And, well, I'm not saying that'd be my first choice out of the box. But if I've been locked up for 30 years and that's all that was standing there, I'd have to give her a go. I like your first check. Did you... I was 15. Uh, I, didn't, I lived in Pleasant Grove. I didn't have the pick of the litter. Again, you, you did what you had to do. And if she was the only thing available, yeah. Your first chick was what? She wasn't bad. She was fat with missing a teeth and a, she had a baby. She wasn't missing the whole tooth. <laughs> a ch chip tooth. Yeah. Ever find out how she got that? <laughs> Probably from... Sucking... <laughs> <laughs> You do what you have to do. <laughs> she was a fat chick. That's okay. That's all I'm saying. She wasn't, but she wasn't fat like rosy fat. Okay. She's fat like that Jewish chick on The View fat. No, she wasn't that bad. Oh. And how, how old were you? 15 or 16. She was the same age? I guess. How old was her kid? I don't know. We let him drive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Year. Maybe she was older than 15. I think she was 28. <laughs> <laughs> you want a break, right? Please. Neato. <laughs> Ross Martin Show. On Live 105.3. Why did the chicken cross the road? For the sweetest tea in Texas. Chick, chick, chicken express. We're waiting for you. Hey, this is Ralph Strand, just along with Daryl Ray. Hello. Offering yet another reason why you should get that next vehicle from D&M Leasing. Yep. HMLs. HMLs? High mileage leases. Ah, uh, yes. Leases that accommodate high mileage. That's right. The RW now has a TLA. I'm sorry, the what? The RW, the Road Warrior, now has a tailored lease agreement Thanks to DNM. Oh. Yeah, DNM's HMLs help the RW offset some of that PATP. PATP. Pain at the pump. So if you PTP, you need some TLC from DNM or you could end up SOL. Why are you talking like that? LW, bro. 
Like what? Like the king of acronyms. Ralphie, I'm no KOA. <laughs> Look, ignore him. If you rack up a lot of miles, DM has a lease for you. So call them at 35 Lease. That's 35 L E A S E. See, now you're doing it. <laughs> Works from any local area code or contact them online at DMAutoLeasing.com. The following is paid for by Durkin and Hudson. If you find yourself in a legal mess, dial 1 800 DNGS because you got your rights. Dial 1 800 Hey, this is Jagger for 1-800-THE-DOGS, and let's face it, I don't work in the most dangerous of jobs and probably don't have to worry a lot about getting hurt at work. Well, then again, maybe hurting my fist when I punch Mondo. Uh, but I'm lucky. Hundreds, if not thousands, of listeners get hurt every day doing their job. Then what? Well, they get screwed, that's what. You know you can't count on your boss or the workers' comp insurance company to treat you right, and this is why you need to call 1-800-THE-DOGS. Of all the times you need someone that has your back, this is it. Have an attorney making sure that you get what you deserve. Medical treatment, a weekly income check, all the things you need to survive. So call the attorneys at 1-800-THE-DOGS now. That's 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S. They've got your back. That's 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S. If you're a business owner, whether you own a small shop or a large corporation, when it comes to building a new facility, the process can seem overwhelming. Concerned with getting the building you need on a limited budget? Call Anthem Steel for a pre-engineered steel building. When you look around, you'll see that more and more businesses, churches, and schools are using steel buildings to save time and money. You, too, can build with the quality of Anthem Steel, saving up to half the cost of conventional building methods. Large or small, your new building will be up and running quickly with your choice of exteriors like stacked stone, stucco, or rich and stately brick. For your free information, call 800-400-4204. Anthem Steel has the high-quality solution for almost any size you need. Before you give up, call Anthem Steel for your free information at 800-400-4204. For a church, school, or gymnasium, manufacturing, warehousing, or retail buildings, call for your free information at 800-400-4204. Tonight on NBC, a spectacular night begins with an all-new deal or no deal with a quarter-million-dollar offer. And what's left on the board is even more. This is huge. Then on Heroes, all along you've had questions. Did you make me this way? And tonight you'll get answers. He's not a paper salesman. As Heroes goes to the next level. This is the truth. With a stunning ending that will leave you wondering. There's got to be another way. And finally, the premiere of TV's next great drama. You remember the Donnellys, right? From the Oscar-winning writers of Crash, the Black Donnellys. Four brothers who can only count on one thing. He needs us. Each other. Entertainment Weekly calls The Black Donnellys one of the most ambitious series in years. What if he dies and he never knows that I loved him? The premiere of The Black Donnellys after Deal or No Deal and Heroes. All new NBC Tonight. It all happens tonight starting at 7 only on NBC5. The name of the game in mortgage financing is pre-approval. There's nothing more important than getting pre-approved, especially when it comes to the most important financial decision that you're ever going to make. And you're going to ask why. Okay, fair enough. Uh, the guidelines for lenders are tightening, and they're tightening quickly. You need to know what your monthly payments are going to be. Uh, you need to know what your closing costs are going to be. You need to know what items you uh, can negotiate with a seller. Uh, and you need to know uh, what the... Uh, should be an and in there. You need to know what the... Uh, you get the idea. There are a lot of things that go along with buying a house. And this is not something that you want to trust with somebody that is just getting started or with a company over the Internet. Because if a problem pops up, you want somebody local to deal with. You don't want to have to uh, deal with back and forth with emails, hoping that you're going to get a hold of somebody that can take a look at your paperwork or your file and make sure that things are rectified. With Rodney Anderson at CTX, you can go to his website. You can get uh, pre-approved. You can go to his office. Uh, you can visit. Uh, you can uh, take a look at all the different options. Uh, if you've got bad credit and you'd like to clean it up, Rodney has free seminars from time to time on cleaning up your credit. So if you've been denied a home because of that, not only can you get into a home, you can get a better interest rate. You can go to his website. RodneyAnderson.com. You can read about that. You can read about construction financing. There's a list of builders who offer incentives when you're pre-qualified through Rodney. Uh, or you can call. Like I said, it's not going to cost you anything to visit. 1-800-EXPRESS. 1-800-E-X-P-R-E-S-S. Or go online. RodneyAnderson.com for CTX Mortgage. Go to Radio Shack right now and you can get a cool camera phone with Bluetooth free after rebate. Free. Like sample trays in a supermarket. Like elevator music. Like milk from a cow you own. Like, well, you get the idea. 
It's true. A Bluetooth camera phone from Sprint or Singular is yours free after rebate with qualifying upgrade or new two-year agreement. Available to customers near the end of their contract. At Radio Shack, your neighborhood wireless store. Sprint phone free after $30 mail-in rebate. Good through 331.07 with credit approval. $36 activation fee and up to $200 early termination fee apply. Details in store. In Miami, people look for the wildlife. We just needed to get out. It's called a mancation. But CBS Tonight. Well, let's go get them. The wildlife is looking for them. <laughs> These city boys pay good money for their hunting weekends. Well, then I guess they got more than they pay for. Now, our victim was the bait. The hunt is on. That is a significant amount of blood. Bear's not the only killer in Miami. A new CSI Miami, CBS Tonight. The fourth annual Pro Cuts Texas World Dirt Track Championship returns to Texas Motor Speedway March 2nd and 3rd. And once again, NASCAR Nextel Cup driver Ken Schrader will race in the Pro Cuts Super Late Model both nights. Come see Ken Schrader up close as he competes against the best drivers from across the state. What could be better than that? How about if it was all free? Just race into any of Pro Cuts 85 Metroplex locations and get two free tickets with any purchase of $15 or more. Yes, for only $15 worth of professional hair care products and services, you get $50 worth of racing tickets free. Race into your neighborhood Pro Cuts today for the look you want, the products you need, and two free tickets to the Pro Cuts Texas World Dirt Track Championship featuring NASCAR Nextel Cup driver Ken Schrader at Texas Motor Speedway. For the salon nearest you, call 1-888-PRO-CUTS or go to ProCuts.com. Not valid with other offers, valid only while supplies last at participating salons. Pro Cuts, best on the block. Is juggling work, kids, and your life taking the fun out of TV? Then schedule your television around your time with a DVR from Dish Network. Watch Saturday Night Live on Sunday morning. Pause live TV to let the dog out. It's all about your time, and it's about time. Introducing Dish DVR Advantage from Dish Network, the everything-you-need TV package for one low price. For just $39.99 a month for 10 months, get over 200 all-digital channels, including local channels, and free standard professional installation with no equipment to buy. The two-room DVR comes standard. No hidden fees, no additional monthly charges. Call Dish Network now at 1-888-231-DISH and get your choice of HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, or Stars Movie Pack free for three months. That's 1-888-231-DISH. Or visit Radio Shack, Sears, or any authorized Dish Network retailer. Dish DVR Advantage. It's about time. Offer ends 53107. All prices, packages, and programming subject to change without notice. Requires $49.99 activation fee. 18-month commitment and credit card auto pay. 10-month discount requires mail-in redemption. Restrictions, credit approval, and early cancellation fee apply. If you even think you might be having some foundation issues with your house, why don't you have the guys from All Pro come out? Tony Cooper and these guys have been around forever. They know Texas soil. They can look at your house. They can do a free estimate. It will cost you nothing. 877, mean, green. And again, it really, if, if you catch it early, it could save you thousands and thousands of dollars if you do it right now. All of the repairs come with you lifetime transferable warranty great company they did gavin's house and when he went to sell it of course he had that warranty which it's like it's like gold that's and the independent uh, the independent engineers report too they come out before and then again after that's a 500 hundred dollar value you'll get that for free if you sign up for your repairs at the time of your free estimate everything to gain really honestly nothing to lose but it's the fact the peace of mind knowing that it's not your house is not going to get worse you may not have any, any problems at all. 877-MEAN-GREEN, 877-632-6473. Tony Cooper and the guys will come out and do it for you. Also, like I said, ask them about when they're there, why they use all the different pairing methods. Not just one, not just two. You hear a lot of companies plug, well, we just do this because that's the only way. No, it's because that's all they sell. Tony Cooper and the guys sell them all. 877-MEAN-GREEN, 877-632-6473. Winter is winding down and the sunshine of spring is right around the corner. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, and... Sonora in a hip check. Shot to flight that turn by the stop. Oh, the second one, too. And the stars are marching towards the playoffs. Boucher slugging and he scores! The second half of the NHL season is underway and your Dallas Stars are marching towards the Stanley Cup playoffs. It's a tight race in the Western Conference and every game matters when a spot in the postseason is on the line. Your Stars are dialing up the intensity and they count on you to do the same. Here comes Jokic, it swings in, he shoots, he scores! Join the march with the Planet 10 March to the Playoffs plan. You'll receive the final 10 action-packed home games of the star season, priority to purchase playoff tickets, and much more. Visit DallasStars.com or call 214-GO-STARS to order your Planet 10 March to the Playoffs plan today. Free FM Live 105.3 presents the Trophy Nissan Pugs and Kelly Rewind. 
All right, we're talking about your favorite candle. <laughs> James, you're on Live 105.3. I like candles, too, and I'm a guy. So, I mean, we can start like a little club for men that like candles. We can talk openly <laughs> about candles. Well, now that's gay. <laughs> I don't think it's a gay issue either, but and I like scented candles. Will the blogger chimes in with, cavemen invented fire. Gay cavemen thought the fire should smell like flowers. Kelly <laughs> <laughs> Weekdays on Free FM. Live 105.3. And brought to you by... Trophy, 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 Nissan. The pyramids, the Great Wall of China, the largest ball of strength, and now the newest great wonder of the world, CC's All-You-Can-Eat Pizza Buffet. Why? Because from the moment you walk in, you'll wonder why people are being so nice. You'll wonder why you're eating on real plates and using real silverware instead of styrofoam boxes and plastic spoon forks. And while you're helping yourself to our buffet's wide variety of pizzas, pastas, salads, and desserts, you'll wonder what that wonderful sensation is in your mouth. It's called taste, and it happens when you use only fresh ingredients and create imaginative pizzas like spinach alfredo and Mexican Olay. All this for under $5, and kids eat for a lot less. Which may make you wonder how this level of quality is possible for the price. To that we say, stop wondering and start eating. CeCe's Pizza Buffet, almost too good to be true. Price may vary by location. It's the station that you asked for, and we deliver. ONA, Jagger, Hugs and Kelly, Russ Martin, Lycus, and Loveline. Thank you for creating KLLI. Dallas, Fort Worth. This is Live 105.3. The new Jaguars Gold Club. 972-869-GOLD. Back to the Russ Martin Show. I'm supposed to let him in. Why? I just think you should let him back in. He's worked really hard. He bought that bass guitar. Okay. Well, he can sell it. He doesn't want to sell it. He wants to be in the band. Oh, well, then you know what? You practice all the songs and you shut up. I think he's, that's part of it. He goes, I've been, didn't he scream? I've been practicing. I've been practicing in the front yard. I couldn't hear him. The door was closed. <laughs> I heard him. I heard the, this is, he didn't say the F word. What was he screaming? He said, it was retarded. Oh, BS. That was he screaming. BS. This is BS. And it's funny. Oh. He, get, he gets wound up. And he starts coming back towards the house, screaming at me. <laughs> he forget, he forget, <laughs> he forgets that his amps on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and my driveway don't like wheels. <laughs> so did it go all the way in the street? Or? No, no. He, he realized about the time he turned loose of it and started to wheel back Make on him. He had stopped. Let him back in the band. Just let him in. What's it going to hurt? You don't need a bass player, but it, it does round out the sound a little bit. No, it doesn't. Oh, it... Was there anything Saturday that you could tell it, it, that was missing because we didn't have that thump, thump? Nothing I heard. There's nothing we do that's really bass intensive. If we were doing... Uh, uh, just... Foreigner songs are kind of bassy, aren't they? Yeah. Or Crazy Train or something. Yeah. Chili Pepper song. Yeah. We'll be doing no Chili Peppers. I understand. No Crazy Train. Well, I know. but Probably he, no Foreigner. He, he's worked very hard. We certainly won't be doing How Long by Ace. <laughs> that would be the only time we'd need him. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to have him there. <laughs> <laughs> and Chuck could probably even do that on the keyboards. Can you? Paul Carrick. Who? This guy wrote that song, Paul Carrick. In the Ace. I don't think you know what song I'm talking about. Ace? Yeah. How long? Yeah. That's Paul Carrick. Play the intro. <sighs> you don't know what you're doing. Shut up. <laughs> We're talking music over here. God. <laughs> Chuck, talk him into letting Carlos back in. Just he's worked very hard, and he bought that guitar, and his feelings are hurt. <laughs> I'm, 
He's out there. I feel sorry for the guy. Did he, he didn't look like his feelings were hurt. He looked like he was being pissed. Well, he was, and the he only was reason pissy. he you wouldn't let him in the house. He's not supposed to be there. Am I supposed to open the door? Say some other bass player just showed up. <laughs> it's not just any bass player. It's our internist. We know him. We've met him. And we've also released him. Apparently he thinks it was a bit or something. Otherwise, he wouldn't be out there embarrassing himself and screaming at the top of his lungs. This is BS. Except he's using the words, obviously. He's feisty. He had a potty mouth, too. For somebody, yeah. out, for somebody outdoors. I just want to open the door and go, shut up! Bang. <laughs> no. Because as often as the cops come by my house, just they try and keep an eye on it for me. I figured somebody would come by and haul him off. Oh, God. I just picture him getting arrested. <laughs> D- disorderly conduct in, your, in front of your house. Because you wouldn't have gone outside and saved him. Mm-mm-mm. I'd open the door really quick and chunk the gun out in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Officer. That's his. <laughs> He's waving it around at me, I swear. Yeah. Just let him back in. Mm-mm. He's obviously dedicated and he wants to do it. He, was, he wasn't dedicated until he got kicked out of the band. Then all of a sudden, he, he's got no problems. He wants to learn. He's going he's gonna to practice all the songs that we, we've added to the list. It's too late. Well, he obviously spent the time and energy doing it, so that shows he's dedicated. And he came and he embarrassed himself. Whose fault is that? Well, that's, it's his fault, but you could have let him in, too. I could have, but he wasn't supposed to be there. You oh. just want me to let any bass player in just because somebody's holding a guitar? It's not any bass player. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's not just any... Quit being smug, <laughs> Trey. He's sitting up there going, yes, it's very dangerous. <laughs> I mean, some people just show up at your house unannounced when they're not supposed to be there? people. It was Vegas. Is there someone okay, we know? Okay, all right. Let me ask you this question. Yes. We've all known Russ for a long period of time. Would you show up at his house when you're not supposed to be there? I hate when you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, your side of the argument would be, obviously, Carlos thought he was still in the band. Clearly. He did. Uh, well, obviously. But there's no reason for him to think that because I told him on the phone and confirmed via you internet. You didn't get drunk and send any any little emails indicating it might be a bit or call him or anything? Uh-uh. <laughs> Is that a for real uh or you don't remember uh-uh? I'll say this. Uh, yes. I don't know. Well, in my effort uh, to be forthcoming, I don't know what I sent. <laughs> I do know I told him he was out of the band because I carbon copied Chuck on it. Okay. I just think it was kind of rude enough to at least let him in. And it was rude to show up. He thought he obviously thinks he's still in the band. I don't know where that came from. I don't know what communique he thought he got, but it wasn't intended. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk emails, you let him back in the band. Did he ever call you afterwards? I figured you'd get a phone call. No, I didn't hear from you. He was not a happy camper. You could hear him all the way down to his car, which is a distance. Mumbling. I really expected to get up the next morning and find a white pants thrown on my porch. <laughs> Shredded. Yeah. Like Trace Cat got a hold of it. <laughs> let him in. Just let him back. Just for the white trash party. No. It's three weeks. I don't need him for the white trash party. Even if I decide I got to have a bass player, which I don't. I'll get somebody else. Lee there's, Harris. Uh, there was no time for Lee any, Harris here in the building place. There's base. no time for anybody else to learn all those songs. We don't play anything difficult. Well, you got to know the song, though. And I'll, Lee is an experienced musician. Yeah. And most of the stuff that we play, he probably played when it was new. <laughs> probably. Just let Carlos in. No, I can't. He's a big part of the band. He, He's not. Well, he is. He's been in there from the beginning. Okay. Did we stop practice on Saturday uh, when he wasn't there? No. All right. I'm not saying the bass is the most important. Obviously, it's not the most important instrument, but he's put a lot of time and energy into this. That ain't my fault. It's not your fault. I don't have time to stay on top of everybody. You Just, don't have that. It, we don't play for free. I know if that. we played for free, then possibly you got some kind of angle. But we charge a lot of money when we go out and play. I know I'm jacking around with a foundation. It, and if you're... He, if your stance is going to be, well, you know, I can only practice so much because you're not paying me anything. The first person that, that, that ever comes out of their mouth, first, I'm going to gut them. Mm-hmm. And then they're out of the band. Obviously, he was ready. He wouldn't have showed up Saturday. He was clearly his practiced. And uh, he was we ready don't, to go. We don't, how do we know that? Well, we don't because you wouldn't let him in the house. We don't know. But I promise you, he's not going to show up 
again after what happened to him last week. Well, you railed about him, so he clearly he spent some time and energy getting ready. Well, yeah. then that was that was a waste of time. I'm, he wants to be in this band room. I'm sure he does. I would be too. It's fun. Uh, it's good. Camaraderie built all around it. it if fun. you can get in the house. <laughs> That day, the house was just full of camaraderie. Yes, it was. Saturday, we was had to crack the windows. Saturday was fun. Except, who's the new guitar guy? <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Paul. Yeah. What's wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> no, that ain't what. He, what's he? Uh, how tall is he? Claude, how tall are you? He's about my height. Five, five seven. Yeah, he's about five seven. Uh, <laughs> stocky. Mm -hmm. Dark hair, goatee. I don't think we can keep him in the band. Yeah, but he's good. Well, he's he's, he's good. having a blast. He's, I think he's retarded. He's not retarded. He's, I think he is. Why? Is he retarded? No, not at all. He's a good guy. He's just spunky. He's real excited. He was very happy to be there. And you could tell Chuck, have you, you ever met him before? Never. Didn't he seem retarded? Uh, maybe some portion of him was. Yeah, okay. Well, would you go with me mildly retarded? Wow. Okay. <laughs> On what level? He was extremely good. Picked up all the songs. Did a couple of solos he wasn't even prepared for. There are actually, you know, they've done research. There are some people with autism that are phenomenal musicians. Yeah, he doesn't have autism. He's too. He's too spastic. He's very. Excited. He's all over the place. Yeah. He's like the Rain Man of guitarists. The happy bag boy at the grocery store. That yeah, just okay. absolutely ecstatic. It doesn't matter what you hand him. He's ready to go. He he's. Because we practice at the house, I had to keep going over there and went, stay in this spot. You got a bunch of cables and wires running all over the place. You're going to hurt yourself. He was jumping. I can't have him on stage at a concert. We have to hook him up to a bungee cord. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's done a lot of shows and stayed on stage. It don't look like it. Yes. He's got his <laughs> foot pedals that look like something out of NASA. Oh, yeah. He, he showed up. Trey, he brings this, uh, this thing about the size of a suitcase. Flips it open. It's full of uh, foot switches. I guess, Chloe, every time you step on one, you get a different sound from your guitar? Yeah, because he plays in, the, in, a, in, a, in a band in which it's all over the spectrum. So, What's the name of his band? Uh, Excess Whiskey. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. But he doesn't, he doesn't drink. He doesn't do any drugs. I've known the guy for years. He's just full of spunk. And the only time he ever settles down is when, is when you piss him off. That's the only time he ever slows down. But he's a really good guy, funny and like he's played at Barfly several times and, and we're all like where does he get that energy from? I don't know where he gets it from. <laughs> no, he, he doesn't. See, that's what I used to think too until I, I sat down with him hung out with him and him and his wife and um, no, he doesn't. What does his wife look like? His wife? Uh, a little short Mexican girl. she hot? She's pretty cute, yeah. Okay, why? Why do you care? Because we believe he's mildly retarded. He's not retarded. He's just excited. I didn't see the retarded side at all. I saw he was a little over the top for a Saturday morning rehearsal. But it was his first time there, and he was tearing it up. Well, he loves you. And also, he he played... Um, he th That band opened up for one of the White Trash Parties at Gilligan years ago. The, our, our first one? Um, no, oh, Jay the, Gilligan's. Jay Gilligan's, Where yeah. we have the first one? Uh, the first one was at... Oh. Wait, at, at like an airport hotel? Yeah, the, 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 not the VFW, but it's 377 or something like that. Yeah. Right there off of uh, three. He, he was at that? He, he wasn't that one. He was the second one at Gilligan's. Oh. Where you dressed up as, um, where you you got a, dressed up as the Angus. ACDC. Yeah. Yeah. You, you were, actually, I got a picture somewhere of you two, you two jamming together. I've never seen him before. <laughs> You've seen him before? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I swear. I can't, ha I can't handle the liability of him being on stage. What if his, what if his, uh, <laughs> Spike comes out of the ground. No, he's just fine. Like I said, he just every every year he's so excited. He calls me every year. Hey, let us let's do the white trash party. Let's do the white trash party. And for him to be in the same room with all of all of the band and all that stuff, he would just over overly excited, annoyingly energetic. Yes. Yeah. I you know I'll call him and you, and you couldn't you couldn't calm him down. Well, let's add these songs. I sing. We don't need a singer. We got singers. We need another lead guitarist in case Mike from Back in Black can't ever make an, a, a, a concert so we don't have to cancel and lose money for the, the foundation. Let me call and talk to him. I don't think that's going to do any good. I mean, I, I'll try. I think it will. Because I, I, I've known him for years. <laughs> the 
first time that steak comes out of the ground. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> we're not tying him to the ground with a steak. Yeah, I am. If he's going to be on stage at the white trash party, I'm bungeoning him. Bunge he's getting, yes. <laughs> and if he works it right, take a run towards a crowd and have him yank him back on stage. <laughs> it's just all part of the show, man. Be a running bit. <laughs> You know, like those babies that they stick on the little elastic things? Mm -hmm. Yes. Stick him in one of those. They make, how big do they make those? You can, you can, I think you can put them together. You can make a little attachments. You can put We're them together. We're not tying the guy down to something with a baby strap. Yeah, I am. He's, he's just funny and energetic. And he's really good. Yeah. How, if, how, long, if, if, been, how long has he been playing? Um, I don't know. He used to be in a Van Halen tribute band. If he plays, there's no need for me to even come on stage. Why? <laughs> oh, he blows me out of the water. Well, well, but just, nobody uh, knows who he is. That's the okay. whole concept of this band is people come to see people that they know. Oh, okay. They right. don't know him yet. Okay. They see him a couple of times, they'll know who he is. He's a yeah. guitarist with the baby straps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to see people that they know, like Venegas. Well, there's going to have to be a void in their hearts. <laughs> no. Can't. And, yes. there's no, and there's no room for Venegas now because we got... Uh, there's Baby plenty. Strap Boy. Remember the stage? It's much bigger than it was before. Yeah, I know, but he's, he's got to have a lot of room to <laughs> maneuver. We'll tighten his straps down and have the Vegas guy. I can't it. wait until he hits the end of his strap. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'd go just to see that. I don't care what the rest of the band plays. <laughs> just, just some spastic guy with a guitar get to the end of his bungee. <laughs> just... But they do actually make things like that for adults. What? <laughs> <laughs> like this? Yeah. Him and the are flying back. <laughs> <laughs> and he lands and never misses a lick. <laughs> he was he was just warming up, and he was just incredible. Yeah, I've, I've never seen anybody play like that. Clo, uh, but I only see Clo play a few songs. Uh, what's his name? Paul. Yeah, he went through the whole range. Yeah. Knocked out some solos that weren't there. <laughs> he sort yeah. of kicked into a few solos on his own. I'll, like I said, I'll talk to him and hey, it's, it's reel, like, reel him in a little bit. How do you, you go reel him in? Because uh, cause he wants to be a part of this so bad, you know what I mean, that I know that he would calm down for that. What is, uh, does he have a day job? Uh, yeah, I forgot. He's, he used to work at uh, like guitar centers and stuff like that, but I don't know what he does now. Oh. Yeah. Because he used to be in a Van Halen tribute band. Right. Years ago. Do you know what he does, Chuck? Yeah. What's he do? Uh, he's a meter reader. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Should I say the city? Huh? Should I say the city? No. Uh, okay. no. He reads meters. Gas or water? I believe it's water. Oh. <laughs> Ed worked his way up to gas? Yeah. yeah. He probably does a pretty quick job. Yeah, you just hop, hop over fence to fence. <laughs> we'll get a job at Sherwin Williams. Just shaking a paint. <laughs> uh, your paint will be done in about fifteen seconds. <laughs> We're normally done in take about five minutes. We got a new shaker. <laughs> I've got to see this. You can't see it's too fast. Yeah. You've seen hummingbirds, ain't you? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. You ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, I, and when practice is over, I couldn't get rid of him. We need, well, that's why he kept bringing up Van Halen. Yeah. Because he's got a, he's got a guitar that looks, that he made exactly like the old Candy Stripe one guitar that Eddie had. Down to a T, like he did all this screwed up stuff to like put quarters and stuff behind the bridge and, you know, stuff to make different sounds, wired it different. He made it to a T. How Eddie did it back in the day. Okay, and it's just it's amazing. And he's got he's got um, sponsorships through Fender, and um, he goes to the, these guitar shows all the well, time. Well, he's got sponsorships, and he's he's got enough other. He's good enough to play with anybody. Why is he reading water meters? I think that is that his second love. <laughs> <laughs> he just likes doing it like kind of his way, his own his own thing. See the way the dials turn in the sun. It's beautiful. <laughs> My only little meter of God's love. <laughs> it would just turn faster. <laughs> All right, talk to him. All right, I'll give him a call tonight. But I'm not kidding about sticking a cord on him. Okay. 
Dan, have you looked up online and see how big they make those? I've seen them before. I'm just trying to find you one online. <clears throat> you see a lot of people use them when they're trying to uh, improve their speed. And what it'll do is a band will attach to, usually I think it's like a vest that they'll wear over their torso. <laughs> and the band will be attached to something stationary behind them. And then you just run and it snaps you right back. We had one in high school, but... Oh, hang on, Matt. You're talking about they really make something like that? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's for speed training in various sports. We had a deal like that, but you had two people attached to it, and the first person would run and stretch it as tight as possible, and then it pulls you, and then you run faster, and then you go back and forth. I wish it was then now. Yeah. <laughs> I think a funny thing would be to put it on him. And then you don't tie it to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it look like it's tied. Yeah. And no, that's fine. You had all your weight. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, Paul, take off. <laughs> Got a hold of your guitar guy? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Obviously, the visual is more funny to me. <laughs> We have time for news? Uh, no. Do we need a break now? About two minutes. Brad, what's all the phone lines? People saying where to get one of those uh, runner kind of bungee right. things. I'll take them. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hello? Hey, Brad. Yeah. It's Eddie. You need to get one, you need to get one of those. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Talk to him. Talk to him. I'll turn the radio down. Mine's down. All right, go ahead. What? Uh, you need to get one of those baby leashes that where the people in the mall had the kids on the leashes. Oh, that's right. I got one of those for my crank. <laughs> <laughs> in case it runs amok. Yeah. Well, you can't always watch it. <laughs> Where's it going to be running to? I don't... What? Your crank. How big is yours? Well, mine's not nine inches. Okay. Well, neither well is... when you're ready to set at the big table, I'll tell you. Neither is yours. We've all seen it. He thought he was talking to Brad. Oh, I know that. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hey, man, I can't believe you guys are having such a hard time finding a bass player. We don't need one. Oh, did you guys find a bass player? No. You guys don't need one, huh? No. Oh, well, that's actually, you don't. Uh, there's a lot of people that are playing in bands without bass players. Yeah, I know. Obviously, somebody finally figured it out. I don't know why I had to spearhead the campaign. Just let Carlos back. Mm -mm. Just, it's four or five rehearsals and one show. Okay. And kick him out after that, but he's worked hard for this show. All right, I'll make this deal. Okay. Radio shtick aside. Okay. First time Carlos blows it, you eat it. No. Yes. No. What? You know what? I got to eat it if he blows it. So if you're if you're going to be that adamant about having him back in the band. I hate Carlos. No, he's straight. <laughs> I just told you, radio shtick aside, the first time he blows it, you're the one that's going to eat it. I don't like this deal. Because I'm not there making sure he practices. I'm not either. I don't have time. Well, I know you don't. That's the point, I'm sure. I don't have time to chase down adults to make sure that they're doing their stuff. Did you learn your bass part? Did you learn your guitar part? Uh, yeah, horns, everybody ready to go? Well, I had stuff to do this week. I got stuff to do as well. I got to run a radio station. <laughs> I got to run a band. And there's a lot of different variables associated with each one. And I got a house. And I got a mom who won't stop. Uh, I got dirty clothes. What? Wash them. <laughs> what's, what's the problem with she dirty clothes? She guys, she's got to have a new washer dryer right now. What do you do? What do you dirty up? <laughs> you don't go anywhere. You don't have a job. It's you and the dog. Wash something. Well, you wash, she didn't have a washer and dryer? They got one in the complex. You, you were going to buy her one. I'll get around to it. I got my hands full of other people. Just get them online. Have it delivered. I haven't had time to go price them out. Well, she's going to wear clothes. They're going to get dirty. She's then you, wash then you get you a nice bag full of quarters, and you run down to the laundromat there at the complex, and you wash them. Just Think of it as a job. Pretend you have one. She's retired. She's, she's retired because she's not working. <laughs> so let her come over to your house and do the laundry. There's one in the laundry. They put those in the complexes as a convenience you, to the residents. Do you really want her running in and out of a coin-op laundry? It's there at the apartment complex. It's not like running down to one-off 
Walnut Hill. Did you hear the story about last week? Some lady was in a, in the laundromat in some apartment complex. I got the audio from Mike Snyder when he talked about it. Some guy walked in and flashed his wiener at her. You should, <laughs> hold on. What cut is this? Channel twenty. Uh, cut number twenty-seven. You should hear Mike Snyder talk about it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Have you heard it, Trey? No. No. How long does it cut? About 25, 30 seconds. Top of the news. Now, live, this is NBC5 News at 10. Investigators are trying to track down a pervert who exposed himself to a woman in an apartment complex laundry room in Grapevine. Police say the man walked in on a 21-year-old woman around 8.30 Friday night, pulled down his pants, and asked, do you want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> Can this guy go to Grapevine? <laughs> I think that's where he was. Oh, was it? I think it was a Grapevine. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> now, live, this is NBC5 News at 10. Investigators are trying to track down a pervert who exposed himself to a woman in an apartment complex laundry room in Grapevine. Police say the man walked in on a 21-year-old woman around 8.30 Friday night, pulled down his pants, and asked, do you want some of this? <laughs> the woman ran away and called police from her apartment. You can see the look on his face. I couldn't believe he was having to read that. <laughs> don't expose your mother to that. Yeah. Let her do a lot at your house. I ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> you think I, it's a cereal? Yeah. He's going to keep on doing it? Well, clearly. I'll do the same thing at my house. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be different. She's seen yours and don't want none of it. You don't know that. <laughs> They say the man walked in on a 21-year-old woman around 8.30 Friday night, pulled down his pants, and asked, do you want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't have just left it if he accosted her. <laughs> Did he actually accost her? No, I mean, you know, they could have they could have stayed. They could have just walked in <laughs> and said he exposed, exposed himself. himself. There was really no reason for any type of <laughs> dialogue. <laughs> At least he asked. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's not like he came in and went He's polite. Yeah. <laughs> it's a legitimate offer. <laughs> and you don't know how many places he's been to before that day. Been turned down, has he? Well, I mean, a lot of times uh, you get enough of those, it's going to hit at your self esteem. <laughs> <laughs> and hell, you do it enough, someone may end up saying yes. They say the man walked in on a 21 year old woman around 8 30 Friday night, pulled down his pants, and asked, Do you want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> was Jane McGarry in the shot? No, it was just him by himself. Yeah. <laughs> It's his look on his face. They say the man walked in on a 21-year-old woman around 8.30 Friday night, pulled down his pants and asked, do you want some of this? <laughs> the woman ran away and called police from... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying no washer and dryer. Buy a washer and dryer. Got the hookups. They're really cheap. You can get the low-end ones. Especially if she's doing a load a week. She, well, how, why would she even have a load a week? You put on new clothes every day. Okay. That's that's five things. Or seven. That's probably. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking a work week. How about a, she I, don't work. She doesn't do anything. You got 40 hours a week puts, where you're doing nothing. You can walk down to the laundromat, take you five or six pieces of clothes, wash them. Let's see. A shirt, pants, underwear, socks every day. That's four times seven. Don't you ever bring up my mother's underwear again. <laughs> Panties and bra, there's an extra. Uh -oh. I'm sure she probably doubles up on both of those. No, she doesn't. Where As you get older, you got to. Things like to run. Okay, then she's got years. extra clothing. <laughs> Stop. But still, you're not doing anything short of just aging. Well, but uh, that, that's going to soil your clothes. You're wearing clothes. Okay. They're dirty. They All right. need to be washed. She doesn't need to be in the laundromats. 
Yeah, she does. No, she doesn't. What if she misses the question? <laughs> She'll be fine without the question. <laughs> what would Mike Snyder would charge to do it? <laughs> He's got the delivery down. Yeah. yeah. You own some of this. <laughs> you say the man walked in on a 21-year-old woman around 8.30 Friday night, pulled down his pants and asked, do you want some of this? <laughs> the woman ran away. <laughs> you break? Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll be back. Truck Month is on at Don Davis Ford. Special factory incentives make this the best time to make your best deal on America's best truck. Find yours today at Don Davis Ford in Arlington. Don't risk that important presentation. Hurry into Office Depot for all of your design, printing, and shipping needs. From a few copies to bound presentations, Office Depot can help. Let Office Depot lend you a hand. There's just no containing them. The Russ Martin Show on Live 105.3. Arthur the Doorman. Uh, hello, Arthur. Sean Burns from 14B. Ah, uh, yes. B for Burns, sir. How are you? Fine. Did I get a package? Ah, uh, no, Mr. Burns. No package has been delivered. Let me look. Mm, nope. Really? It should be here by now. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Burns. Your bottle of Crown Royal has not arrived yet. Arthur, I never said it was a bottle of Crown Royal. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you did. No, I said a package. Oh, no, sir. You said Crown Royal Fine Deluxe Canadian Whiskey, just like it says here on the label. If it hasn't arrived yet, how do you know what the label says? I'm a good guesser. Uh, where are you right now? In the lobby. Mm-hmm. Do you see that man on the payphone across the street? Oh, my. Someone's stolen your coat, sir. That's me in my coat, and do you know what I'm looking at? Mm, a doorman who just found your bottle of Crown Royal. Crown Royal, blended Canadian whiskey imported by the Crown Royal Company, Stanford, Connecticut. 40% alcohol by volume. Enjoy our quality responsibly, but don't drink if you're under 21. Welcome, Mr. Burns. Let me get the door. Thanks, Arthur. Can I have my package? What package? It's on, even when the lights aren't. It's on when there's an emergency. It's on when I'm home alone with the kids. With Verizon, when the power goes out, your phone stays on. Plus, we handle over 1.2 billion calls a day with over 99.9% .9 reliability. Now that's tough to beat. It's on whenever my son calls from college. It's on no matter what the weather. It's on whenever I need it. Call 1-800-401-1292 to get the reliability of Verizon phone service. All for a great price. That's 1-800-401-1292. So go ahead. Talk all you want. Verizon will be there for you no matter what. My phone? It's always on. Verizon. It's the network. Duration of phone service will vary in the event of a power outage. Fios customers receive up to eight hours of battery backup. Someone knowing your name is no small thing. Dedicated fraud specialists there for you if your identity is stolen. That's reassuring. Not needing direct deposit with your free checking is truly free checking. Wachovia has just been rated number one in customer satisfaction for the sixth straight year. And it's not because of one big reason, but all the little ones. Are you with Wachovia? Rating based on fourth quarter 2006 ACSI customer satisfaction results of the largest U.S. retail banks. Chalk Talk Casino Resort presents Rolling for Wheels Chrysler 300 Giveaway. Play all your favorite games like poker, blackjack, or slots each Tuesday through March 20th to earn entries. Plus, every half hour from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., you'll draw selected winners to roll the Choctaw dice for a chance at big bonus cash. Up to $100 times the number you roll on the dice. Weekly winners will also receive additional grand prize entries. Then on Tuesday, March 27th, one lucky person will roll away in a new $36,000 Chrysler 300 luxury sedan. Roll in for excitement. Roll out with loads of cash and a brand new car. For details, visit ChoctawCasinos.com. Choctaw Casino Resort, one hour north of Dallas on 75. Durant, Oklahoma. Adventure awaits.
If you've ever been in a car wreck before, you know that uh, dealing with the insurance companies, not all of them, but a lot of them, it's going to be a nightmare. A lot of the, uh, almost all of them have lawyers and adjusters on their side, and uh, a lot of their policies are uh, deny, deny, delay, and defend. Their job is to defend the insurance company. So if you get in a car wreck, they're going to have attorneys. And really, I, I didn't used to be big on having an attorney to handle car wrecks until uh, a fish cop friend of ours in uh, Fort Worth got uh, his wife was rear-ended. They're going through the whole process. Had to get an attorney. So obviously, it's not something you can just handle on your own anymore. Plus, do you really have time to put everything aside and then go chase down the insurance company to make sure that you get what you should get? And if you don't deal with this on um, on a regular basis, how do you know what you're really going to need now and in the future? You can call the Frankels. 1-800-THE-DOGS. Get the legal representation that you deserve. They handle car wrecks every day. They're going to get you everything that you need for now and in the future. Help with your car. Uh, deal with the insurance adjuster. And make sure that what you have set aside is going to take care of any problems you might uh, come across in the future. 1-800-THE-DOGS. Or the website is... 800thedogs.com, is that right? 1-800thedogs.com. Put a one in there, too? Yes. Or you can call them and ask them. 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S. The offices of Frankel and Frankel. Get legal representation with bite. Car wrecks, bankruptcies, criminal, divorce, and workers' comp. That's 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S. Tonight on NBC, a spectacular night begins with an all-new Deal or No Deal. Then, it's Heroes, with an episode that will answer many questions. Did you make me this way? And finally, the premiere of TV's next great drama, from the Oscar-winning writers of Crash, The Black Donnellys. We're his brothers. He needs us. The premiere of Black Donnellys after Deal or No Deal and Heroes. All-new NBC Tonight. My name is Jamie. I own my own dress boutique. I'm the gal in charge. I can set my own hours, hire my own team, and sell the clothes I want. I'm finally living my dream. But with all the glory comes all the financial responsibility. I've got to pay the bills on time, every time. And we have to save enough to cover the payroll taxes. Fortunately, Chase, Dallas's number one bank for small business, has everything you need to turn business hurdles into business successes. With Chase Business Checking, you'll get access to the most payment options, more than any other bank, including overnight check. So you can always pay the bills, even at the last minute. Chase Business Checking customers also save money with the best loan, credit, and savings rates Chase has to offer. My name is Jamie, and Chase helps me do what I do best, make the world a little prettier. Call the business team at Chase today at 1-800-CHASE-24. Stop by one of our banking centers or visit chase.com slash business banking today. Credit products subject to approval. J.P. Morgan Chase and a member FDIC. Hey, buddy, huh? give me a spot. Whoa, it's a lot of weight for a guy your size. Ever put up 350 before? No, but if I have to find a rock'em sock'em robot to win a new Hemi V8 powered Dodge Ram pickup, I better go big. All right, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Oh, that was good. Thank you for the spot. Uh, you know, you didn't even get it off the bar. Yeah, I felt the burn, so I'm going to go take a steam and do some mall walking. Are you tough enough to take on the rock'em sock'em robots? Then step up to the Dodge Ram Challenge and log on to cbssportsline.com slash Ram Challenge for a chance to win one of six grand prize Dodge Ram. 1500s or win a fight night trip to Las Vegas or one of over 9,000 other great prizes. So go to cbssportsline.com slash Ram Challenge from now until March 31st. Dodge Ram, the longest lasting, most durable line of full size pickups. Rock'em Sock'em robots used by permission of Mattel Incorporated. Copyright 2007. Mattel Incorporated. All rights reserved. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited. For official rules and details, go to cbssportsline.com slash Ram Challenge. Based on RL Polk and Company vehicles in operation, registration statistics 1986 through 2005. Durability based on longevity. You're a hunter. The Magellan of Discount Internet hotel rates. You'll forage your way through every online travel site for a great price on a fabulous room. And just for you, there's Hotwire.com, where you'll unearth truly thrilling deals on three- and four-star hotels. Like four stars in Dallas. Travelocity price, $159. Hotwire.com price, just $89. Or four stars in Austin. Priceline retail price, $159. Hotwire.com price, just $99. You see, my gifted searcher, when hotels have unsold rooms, they use Hotwire to fill them. So you get them at prices lower than any other travel site. Guaranteed. So go forth and explore all those travel websites for the lowest rates. Then book at Hotwire.com, where you'll find four-star rooms at two-star prices. Hotwire.com. Log on today. 
H-O-T-W-I-R-E, hotwire.com. Hotwire differs from fixed travel sites. Hotel shown after booking. All bookings final. Guaranteed details on site. Priceline price based on Priceline's fixed price service. Ah, the internet. How did we ever get along without it? It gives us email, online shopping, corporate intranets, and more. And if you're like most people, you get the internet at home, at work, and maybe at an occasional Wi-Fi hotspot. But what if I told you that you could get high-speed wireless internet on your laptop from Verizon Wireless virtually anywhere you get cell phone service, like at a city park or the airport? It's your mobile internet. You don't need cables. You don't need an outlet. All you need is a broadband access PC card that slides easily into the side of your laptop and a data service plan from Verizon Wireless, America's most reliable wireless broadband network. Once you have it, you'll likely ask, how did I ever get along without it? For more information, go online to verizonwireless.com slash business or visit a Verizon Wireless store near you. Broadband access, speed, coverage, reliability. Verizon Wireless, it's the network. Broadband access is available to more than 202 million people in 242 major metropolitan areas. Network details at verizonwireless.com. All right, you've heard me talk about uh, all my experiences shopping at Ashley Furniture, and I actually started shopping there before I started doing spots for them. That's how the endorsements came about. They're easy, uh, even easier to find now with seven Dallas Fort Worth locations. And once you go into the the showroom, you'll see why. That's why I've got my house packed full of Ashley furniture from now the new bar in my office, uh, the family, the formal dining, formal living. Uh, you go to the uh, website, ashleyhomestores.com. Take a look at the uh, all the different collections, the showroom. Uh, you can read about financing. Uh, also, a lot of the furniture is made with Durapella. That's a registered trademark of Ashley Furniture. It's a high-tech fabric. It's a breakthrough in comfort, and it also repels stains. Seven easy-to-find Dallas Fort Worth locations. The new one in Frisco, Plano, Mesquite, Grapevine, Arlington, Fort Worth, uh, and North Richland Hills. Seven stores, one phone number. 817-633-6838. Or you can go uh, check out the uh, the showroom online, ashleyhomestores.com. Welcome to Burger Bonanza. Can I take your order? Uh, yeah. I'd like an extra large spare tire. Oh, you want just the spare tire or the combo? I'll go with the combo. And your side? Um, do you have love handles? Yep, two to an order. Great. Uh, and a double chin as well. Honey, what do you want? Uh, can I get the badonka donk butt? You want the badonka donk butt or the badonka donk butt? Uh, just the badonka donk. Okay, you can get extra flabby for only 49 cents more. Ooh, sure. Oh, and what kind of thighs do you have? Thunder thighs and cottage cheese thighs. How about the thunder thighs? Sure. So that's one extra large spare tire combo, a side of love handles, a double chin, an extra flabby badonka donk butt with thunder thighs on the side. What are you really getting with your combo meal? Try a Subway Fresh Value Meal. A delicious sub with six grams of fat or less, baked glaze, and a diet soda. Subway. Eat fresh. For a limited time only, participating restaurants offer good on a regular six-inch sub bag of chips and 21-ounce strength fat contact refers to regular six-inch sandwiches on white or wheat bread without cheese or condiments that contain fat. Subway is registered trademark of Dr. Associate Tank. Someone knowing your name is no small thing. Dedicated fraud specialists there for you if your identity is stolen. That's reassuring. Not needing direct deposit with your free checking is truly free checking. Wachovia has just been rated number one in customer satisfaction for the sixth straight year. And it's not because of one big reason, but all the little ones. Are you with Wachovia? Rating based on fourth quarter 2006 ACSI customer satisfaction results of the largest U.S. retail banks. You know, there's radio like you're hearing now, and there's HD radio like you've never heard before. HD radio is digital, so it sounds better, like a CD. Sounds expensive, too. But no, HD radio is free. No subscription, no fees, just more music hidden between your regular stations. All you need is an HD radio tuner from the Sharper Image. Hear the difference in a Sharper Image store or call 1-800-344-4444 and ask about HD radio. All free, no fee. HD radio. Discover it at the Sharper Image. Hey, it's Gavin. Yeah. And Eric from Free FM Live 1053, you guys got to come join us at our Dallas Stars watching party. That's at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow at Frankie Sports Bar and Grill at 3227 McKinney Avenue in Dallas. Join fellow Dallas Stars fans for an evening of fun, great hockey, and the best Dallas Stars giveaway in town. Eric, every time we do it, it's packed, and here's why. We'll have autographed jerseys, tickets, T-shirts, Free FM merchandise. You can even register to win the use of the Dallas Stars boat for next summer. We're giving away something practically every break. So come out and join us tomorrow at Frankie Sports Bar and Grill, 3227 McKinney Avenue in Dallas. It's the biggest Dallas Stars watching party as the Stars make their way toward the playoffs, brought to you exclusively by Free FM Live 105.3.
This segment is brought to you by Ashley Furniture. Home of the Samsung 500 in April and every Texas Motor Speedway race. This is KLLI. Dallas, Fort Worth. We are live at 105.3. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. Was it on uh, YouTube? Yeah. I don't know. Some listener sent it to me. Just, just wrong. <laughs> what was it? Some black guy singing about doing it to him in the butt. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not really sure. What, what, it's, it's just... I'm not sure what makes it disturbing. Well... Black guy singing about doing it to him in the butt. That seems stop there. What else is there? He's he's so gleeful about it. Yeah. So Sensuous. Yeah. Uh huh. And he's dead serious. Well, he's, he he's, wants you to do it to him in the well, butt. Well, I'm not doing it. He's a good looking guy. And it's the way he sells it, <laughs> especially when he has the stop. <laughs> The jeans on the back that say, what, what? Yeah. And he turns around and he's shaking his ass. In my butt. <laughs> I don't, no. That's disturbing. Yeah. How long is the clip? Oh, it's a whole song. No. It's a, it's a music video. Oh, sorry, I missed it. It's like a public access music video. Yeah. I'll send it to you. Okay. You still have it? Uh-huh. Mm, yeah. I can't. I don't think I can air much of it. No. <laughs> I sent Chloe a, a YouTube clip about the uh, guys singing about the... Uh, they say he screws monkeys? No, dogs. Is it dog screw? Dog screw, yeah. Okay. Because your parents weren't available. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. He ran down a list of why he had to screw your dog. <laughs> Again, YouTube? <laughs> yeah. I think he tries to point out it wasn't his first choice, so don't really... Don't hold it against him? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not if it's... If he thought of other things first, the dog was the only thing that was left. Then it's okay? No! <laughs> <laughs> Is that Gail? Yeah. Hi, Gail. Hi, Raz. <laughs> <laughs> Always a sparkling conversation. Need a dog sitter? <laughs> no, thank you, though. All right. <laughs> Traffic's brought to you by Subaru of Dallas. On eastbound I-30 at Griffin in the canyon, you've got the left lane blocked and traffic's backed up to Sylvan. On eastbound I-30 East Sorrel, Thornton at Ferguson, a wreck in the left lane that's backed up to the other situation. On eastbound 635 at 75 Central, the right lane is blocked by a wreck. Do do do. In Hearst, on northbound 820 past Bakerhurst Boulevard, the right lane is blocked. And in Fort Worth on northbound 35, just before Spur 280, you've got a wreck in the right center lane and traffic backed up onto the South Freeway at Vickery. And I'm Gail Lightfoot on the Russ Martin Show. Thanks, Gail. 43 for the low tonight's mid-70s the rest of the week. No storms in the forecast. We have uh, 73 now at Live 105.3. You looking up the link? Yeah, I was trying to find it. Let's see if I have it here in the studio account. It's just odd. You give somebody, a, a, you know, with YouTube and some of the other video posting sites, you got an avenue for anybody to see your stuff. Yeah. And they'll stick anything on there. Yeah, we've seen. I don't, I don't see it here in the account. How many people had seen it? I always think that's interesting. Uh, I didn't notice. Yeah. I think the uh, the one with the the, the duet of the dog a guy singing about the get your dog mm -hmm. while you was unavailable. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> I think that was a couple of thousand. Oh, that's at all. Some of them you realize 
there's people that don't watch some TV shows that are produced as much as they watch some of the YouTube videos. Yeah, and I don't know how stuff like that gets around, and then it, and I'm totally oblivious to it. What are you doing, Dan? I'm about to send you a link. All right. I have some music while we're waiting on Dan. <laughs> I take a look at my enormous penis And my troubles start a melting away I take a look at my enormous penis And the happy times are coming to stay What'd you send me? I was looking for the 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 butt song or whatever And yeah. that's what I typed in And I found some girl doing yoga in a thong Put your pants on. Put your pants on. Put your pants on. Quit touching it through the pants. Oh. I can't see. Oh. Did she ever stand up? Um. Because right now, it just looks like she's stretching on the floor. I haven't seen all of it yet. Let me jump ahead. She goes into uh, the downward dog thing in a second. Back up just a hair. I don't want to. Uh, yeah. See? Told oh. you. That's a good one. I'll hit the delay just in case. Yeah. Forgot she could talk. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some more of our videos. I don't want to see any more. Either give me the what, what, the butt song or do the news. <laughs> oh, the what, what. Oh, okay. You find it or not? Uh, All right, Trey sent it to me. You start the news. Okay. <laughs> this is how you find stuff. You, you go in looking for one thing and you click on the little menu on the right. I know, that's how I found the, the duet of the guys singing about screwing your dog. <laughs> I'm sending you that one. I don't know what the spin off of that one was. I, I, you, mm -hmm. you see them over on the right and you have to click on it. Uh, uh, Brad just sent me the what, what. I don't know how much of this is going to be able to air for I to delay. Anybody have a clue what the burning cross means? Short of JD? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Well, that's all it is. It's just a black screen with a burning cross in the middle. Yes. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> now you do? <laughs> well, I didn't get it at first. God. It's a black starfish, and they're using his mouth in the middle of it. Right. I missed it the first time. Yeah, I missed that one too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not the first thing I think of as uh, when I think about starfish. Is this guy's hungus? I realize. <laughs> but a chocolate star with. Lips. I, I, <laughs> I'm normally not thinking that way. I just, it, I just thought it was starfish that could yeah. sing. I'm not thinking about his mm -mm. hoot nanny. Mm -mm. <laughs> what kind of Kegel exercises you got to do to be able to get it breathe like that? <laughs> I got you. And there's what he looks like. Let me see. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. He is. Mm hmm. And yeah, here we go. Okay. I said, what, what? In the butt. 
I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. You want to do it in my no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Mm. Yes. And that's, he's certainly happy. That's it? Does it? There's almost no variation from now until, and it's, uh, it's almost a four minute song. Somebody took the time to do that, edit, put it up there. Mm hmm. <laughs> Makes you wonder how you paid the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate kisses. Stop. I'm thinking more of it. Fudge swirl. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a disturbing line later on in the video. What is it? I'll turn the mics off. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah, you get enough of that. That'll that'll swirl your brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. It ain't mine. I realize it's just that anyone would do that. And put it on YouTube. Dan, you want to do next? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you say please. <laughs> We're legal ID club? Yes. All right. Straight up 6 o'clock at KSCS Fort Worth, Dallas. <laughs> Dan O'Malley's here with you. What? <laughs> Just, I don't have anything to do with this. <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> the legal ID? <laughs> okay. You're an idiot. I totally missed it. What were you listening to? You! What did I say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're a buffoon. <laughs> well, you go into the legal ID. I tune out sometimes and think about laundry and such. For a second and a half, you can't follow. <laughs> no. Go ahead, Dan. <laughs> All right. Join Gavin tomorrow night at 6.30 for a Dallas Stars watching party at Frankie's Sports Grill, 3227 McKinney Avenue in Dallas. Free food to everyone stopping by, and he'll be giving away a bunch of items, including Stars tickets. So stop by and see Gavin tomorrow, 6.30 at Frankie's in Uptown. Monday, February 26, 2007, birthdays today. Michael Bolton turns 53, Fats Domino is 79, and Johnny Cash would have been 75. Vice President Dick Cheney warned Monday that al-Qaeda was regrouping in Pakistan's remote border area and sought President General Pervez Musharraf's help in a, uh, in a stiffened push against Taliban and al-Qaeda militants. The Bush administration <laughs> is pressing Musharraf. Oh, God, what? <laughs> oh, no. It's black guy that's dancing that's singing in the butt song. I think I can play some of this because I don't think he's singing here. He's just dancing. Ready? Okay. Yes. Can you see it from there? I can What does he say here? I don't remember. Well, it's I'd have your hand on the delay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you watching me over there? Come to me if you care. Uh -uh. Don't sit and stare. No. It's just not fair. Make your move if you dare. <laughs> here's two here's two black guys bumping asses yeah. <laughs> they're not bumping asses they're not no uh, yeah they are uh uh I look again hey uh uh the one on the left <laughs> no both their arms are shooting in the other direction aren't they uh uh the other ones I think is grabbing the one on the left is grabbing the one on the right <laughs> yeah <clears throat> probably the hold on No, they're bumping yeah. asses. No, oh. you're right. No, no. Russ is right. They're bumping butts. Yeah. Okay. Here's well, here's his chest. Here's his chest. Unless they flip one of theirs around backwards, he ain't the what? <laughs> what? Yeah, he ain't there yet. <laughs> Watch. I said what, what? In the butt. I <laughs> It's actually pretty well produced. <laughs> or a what? What song? What's his name? Sam Well. Is that it? Just one name? Yeah, I 
I typed it into uh, the YouTube. That's the only thing I could find of his. Yeah. Actually, How fitting know? he's on YouTube. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at the name who posted it. Uh, it says Brown Mark Films. <laughs> <laughs> Samwell's world premiere video. Uh, let me. This is with love by Brown Mark Films. Download the video to your stuff. Oh, he's like, got a CD. He does. Yes, and a cell phone ring. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? Did you click on Samwell Music? Oh uh, yeah. Did you just send it to me? Yeah. Well, I'm already there now. Okay. Wait, wait, yeah, you're on merchandise. Well, it, it went straight there. Here's the MP3 download. Look at this. The karaoke download. No. Yes. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. You said you didn't want to do the uh, the uh, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus song. I No, I love Billy Ray Cyrus. No. I <laughs> embrace it. No. It's gonna no. Be, this is going to be kind of like that, only lower. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <I'm> <laughs> Uh, no, breaking hearts is as far as I, I want to go. No. Uh, see, instant download, and there's the ringtone. <laughs> Give me a dollar. I'm not giving you a dollar. I want the butt tone. <laughs> <laughs> here's a <the> dollar. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I got two calls. <laughs> I'm going to stop paying for cable. <laughs> you I got it. no reason to watch the news. I got a reason to watch television. We never get around to anything. No. The last time you opened the paper. I couldn't get it open today. <laughs> I noticed. You mean couldn't well, get it put open? Those, you couldn't get it out of the bag. They you put the bags on tight. I couldn't get it out. <laughs> Why do I care? I'm in the butt today. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> no point in reading about Al-Qaeda and the war and um, all that. When he got, well, starfish boy. Pretty much anything with Al Qaeda and anything in the Middle East is expected. I didn't really expect today to have a some black guy's b hole sing to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? So give me the eyes. I'm creeped out now. Quit it. Hmm? Don't. <laughs> I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. You want to do it? No. Let me see how many times they've watched this. Where does it show that? Views. 615,000. Oh my God. There's a lot of TV shows that don't have that many viewers. Comments. Uh, 1,200 people have made comments. 2,600 people have marked it as uh, their favorite. Let's look at some of the comments. Wow. That guy is gay as F. (laughs) 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 You just sounded like Mike Schneider. Yeah, you did. You want to try news again? Sure. All right. Mm-hmm. 608. KBIL Highland Park. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Highland Park, Dallas, Fort Worth. <laughs> KBIL AM and FM. 608 at KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Dan O'Malley's here in this. All right. You can still join Gavin tomorrow night at Frankie's uh, 630 for the Stars watching party. You'll have uh, Stars stuff to give away, including Stars tickets. Do you want birthdays again? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Michael Bolton, who does not sing What What Song, is 53. Fats Domino, 79. Johnny Cash would have been 75. Uh, Vice President Dick Cheney warned Monday that Al-Qaeda was regrouping in Pakistan's remote border area and sought President Musharraf's help in a stiffened push against Taliban and Al-Qaeda militants. The Bush administration is pressing uh, Musharraf. 
to do more to disrupt Pakistan-based Taliban fighters and hunt down al-Qaeda operatives of suspected of hiding in tribal areas near the border. It has raised the possibility that Congress could cut aid to Pakistan unless tougher steps are taken. Ray Sharp complains that... You can read it or not. I'm just saying if you're done dancing. Uh, Musharraf complains that Pakistan is being blamed for failures inside Afghanistan and contends that there is no evidence that al-Qaeda leaders Osama bin Laden or the Taliban's uh, Mullah Omar are in Pakistan. I said what, what, in the butt. I said what, what, TXU, Texas' largest electricity producer, said Monday. Hang on a second. This this fits this story. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, it does. <laughs> <laughs> TXU uh, said Monday it has agreed to be sold to a group of private equity firms for about $32 billion in what would be the largest private buyout in U.S. corporate history if shareholders go along with it. The firms uh, won support for the buyout from some environmentalists who have criticized TXU by agreeing to sharply scale back TXU's controversial $10 billion plan to build 11 new coal-fired power plants that would produce tons of new greenhouse gas emissions. They also agreed to cut electricity prices 10%, which they said would save TXU residential customers more than $300 million per year and limit prices until September of 2008. What a relief. (sighs) No. (laughs) Stop it. With your singing star, quit it. This story is also a a relief. Authorities in Plano have taken a monkey, an alligator, a tarantula, and six piranhas from a man's home after showing up on his doorstep to investigate a hit-and-run fender bender. Animal control officials last week cited Bobby Crawford Jr. on misdemeanor charges for his illegal collection of exotic animals. Crawford also said he owned three American alligators named Godzilla, Blondie, and Relentless. Animal control cited him for the gator and the monkey. I said what, what? I... Still no word about the piranhas. Said oh, what, what? Quit in it. the butt. I... How eight started. Quit it. <laughs> monkey story in this. People screwing monkeys? That's how they say eight started. Was it monkeys? Yeah. yeah it's been said. Never I thought it was uh, something else. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Art was monkeys. Well, monkeys can be little scamps. <laughs> <laughs> I think the humans were, uh, it wasn't like a date <laughs> situation. The humans were actually having sex with the monkeys without their permission. How do you know? Well, I wasn't there. You got a point. But I'm just figuring monkeys don't go looking for the local tribesmen. <laughs> what if they had a car? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking <laughs> that that's not the case. Monkeys right. have needs too. <laughs> yeah. Monkeys have other monkeys. <laughs> well, <laughs> go ahead, Dan. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't know if I should. <laughs> and does that concern you that you got to justify it to us? Monkeys got other monkeys? No. No, don't do that. I didn't Dan. think so. <laughs> let me <laughs> move. Let on. me see it. I, I don't know timing. I, I don't know. No, move forward. Uh, <laughs> well, this is just about chimpanzees. I know. You afraid of offending a monkey? <laughs> didn't want to, you know, just browbeat him. Yeah, go ahead and read it. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. From Live Science, chimpanzees are capable of making spears to hunt other primates and have been seen using the weapons to apparently kill bush babies for meat. (laughs) I love monkeys. I know you do. I really tried to remain professional while reading that one, but I just couldn't help myself. (laughs) Monkeys and chimpanzees are the... (laughs) The researchers based their findings on observations of omnivorous chimpanzees. Jill Pretz, a primatologist at Iowa State University, said, quote, It is not adult males, but young chimpanzees, including adolescent females, who are exhibiting this behavior. Earlier this month, uh, earlier this month, scientists reported that chimpanzees used stone tools as early as 4,000 years ago, suggesting that they learned to make and use the tools 
on their own rather than just copying humans. Okay. A 53-year-old woman who claimed she received spiritual messages from geese before allegedly <laughs> stabbing her toddler <laughs> granddaughter to death was found not guilty by reason of insanity on Friday. Uh, George ordered uh, Carol Lynn Pappas committed to the state <laughs> mental health hospital where officials will decide when and if she will ever be released. She faced life in prison if convicted. She called 911 from her son's home back in October. <laughs> what are you doing in your head? You want to see the video of the guys that are singing about screwing the dog? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, Is it rolling over there? It's about to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can only let you hear a few seconds of it before I pop the delay. Okay. Tell me what. <laughs> Are you set? Uh huh. Okay. Here it comes. Okay. I, I gotta hit the delay twice. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Look at the guy in the background. Yeah, you can. You can't see it from over there, but they're obviously into the chorus because now they're both dancing. Uh, Stop. <laughs> what happens? Nothing. Oh. Just their timing. Go ahead, Dan. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, uh, Pappas called 911 from her son's home October 29th, 2005, and said, quote, I flipped. The baby was crying, and I couldn't handle it. When police arrived, they found Pappas holding a phone. Both her hands were stained with blood, and an 8-inch knife was found in the body of 20-month-old <laughs> Madison. Madison had been what stabbed numerous times. Now? I'm not sure. I don't know if I got the lyrics wrong or not. They're talking about screwing a pirate's dog now. <laughs> a, a pirate's? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I said uh, I didn't write the song. <laughs> what would you do that to a pirate's dog? <laughs> I got no clue. What does Rainy Day Women 25 and 34 mean? <laughs> By I, Dylan. I don't, I don't know what. Don't question our. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> the funny thing about this video is you don't even have to hear the audio once you know what they're singing. All right. Lean over here and watch okay. it. Okay. Here it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> you watch it when you get home. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> Let's see how many times this has been viewed. Not as many, about three thousand. <laughs> that should probably new. That should go up any moment now. Yeah. Uh, let's see who it's from. Way to reference that. I guess if you just got on YouTube and typed in mm -hmm. the F word and then a dog behind that, this would come up. Yeah. I'm gonna watch the views during the news. <laughs> go ahead, Dan. All right, so anyway, Pappas had told her son she had been receiving spiritual advice from geese flying over his house where she was living. Court records showed she had been admitted to hospitals for psychiatric care at least six times in 05, including six weeks before the slaying. Mayor Thomas Lausen says Vermont is losing the war on drugs and that the solutions are to legalize marijuana and impose the death penalty on dealers of crack cocaine and heroin. Of hard drug dealers, he asked, quote, what social value do they have? They are dealing crack and heroin to young people, knowing full well what the effects will be. What purpose do they serve in society other than to destroy lives, to destroy families? And you can, you can apply that to anybody. If, if you serve no purpose as far as society goes or the, the structure progression yeah. of this uh, species, why keep you around? Because Homeless you people? You can't drug just dealers killing people. Well, the, yeah, you can't. Well, drug dealers are doing something detrimental. Homeless people are just there. They're what what do they anybody. do? What homeless people? Yeah. Are, what are they doing? They're not hurting. Are anybody. they are they helping progress anything? No, they're, no, they're a burden. They're well, but they're not hurting anyone. These people are hurting people. Well, I, I didn't say put the homeless people at the top of the list. But sooner or later, you're gonna get the hammer. No, you're not. 
No, you can't just go through killing people that don't serve your will. I didn't say serve my will. No, I said I serve mean, society. Drug dealers don't do anything. I agree. They, uh, I don't the, think the, they should the, be the, killed. But why not? You selling dope to kids? I that's I realize that's terrible, but as a society, we're not we're not going to do it. Whether it's a great idea, it's one of those. Love you, you know what? Strung you, up. You want to you want to sell it to adults, somebody who can make a, a a decision based on life experience. That's fine. You sell it to kids. I don't care where you go. I I, I don't care how stiff they make the penalty. Yeah, we're we're too. We're not. Gonna that's why it. our prisons are overcrowded. We're too lenient. You don't want to give somebody really what they got coming, which is to get popped. Yeah, and then well, once you finally get that sentence, you got to wait twenty years before they finally get it. I think the prisons are full of people that were, you know, caught with dope for their own use a lot of times too, instead of dealers. I, I'm, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that should been disposed of oh, long I see ago. What you're saying I got you. I missed you. You get rid of the ones who really have it coming, then we got plenty of room in the jails. Drug dealers, pedophiles, yeah, well, people pedoph- who abuse animals. Like, yeah, there are a lot of people that you could stick at the top of the list and start clearing the jails out, the prisons. People have a hard time now with us killing murderers. There's a bunch of people that are against that. I know it's hard to believe, especially in Texas, where we speed it up. Yeah, that's the biggest thing that Rick Perry had going for him mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when uh, Bush was running for president. Perry was flying through. <laughs> who was the the, the down? Who, who was a black guy that uh, was in prison and is? Uh, I guess it was California. And all the, 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 the stars gathered around him. The oh. one that changed his life about 20 years ago. It's like Snooky or... I know who you're talking um, about. Yeah, the, the former head of the, uh, the Crips, I think. I think, yeah, I yeah. think, yeah. I think, remember. I think it was Snooky. That's the first thing I thought about when J.D. said there, you know, people have a problem now k- killing murderers. I don't care what you did that you had time to turn your life around. I don't care what you've done with it since. You're in there for a reason. The people that you killed didn't have a chance to turn their lives around right. because you made the choice for them. Let's get another option. Like the, the, we had one of those in Texas, the, the woman that we killed a few years ago who was an axe murderer. And she had given her life to Jesus and was out there. You know, she was doing you know ministries and everybody was up in arms that we're going to kill her. Well, we killed her anyway. Oh, that was... Oh, that was a big, the people that normally would be all for it, like Pat Robertson and those crew, you know, pleading for her... For, for her life? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was an axe murderer. Mm-hmm. And at a certain point, you do have to do this. If she chopped up your family, would you cut them loose? You can't look at every situation like that. But in this instance, I think that one plays pretty well. Yeah. If Pat Robertson had lost his family to this chick and her machete, exactly. would you really be that willing to forgive and let her go? I don't care what you've done with your life over the past 10, 15 years. The fact that you got those 10 or 15 years is pissing me off. You did it while you were locked up and had nothing else to do. Isn't it easy to find God? You want to hear the dog song again? <laughs> I think once he got to yes, the, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit it during the break and see if even with beeps in there, if it's even palatable. All right. <laughs> God, I've heard a lot of catchy songs today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, somebody sent me another one. I, I'll listen to during the break. Okay, you want a break here? Yes, please. All right, we'll be back. All right. To the Russ Martin Show. This segment is brought to you by RodneyAnderson.com. Format doesn't matter. Talk, country, rock, Hispanic, even boogie He's numero one over them all. The Russ Martin Show on Live 105.3. No joke. Visit Chicken Express and get your choice of nine sides. From French fries to apple pie. Chick, chick, chicken express. Hot and delicious every time. Chris Schneider with Texas Motor Speedway President Eddie Gossage. Eddie, wow, what a, a great way to start this NASCAR season. We couldn't ask for much more than the first two races. Well, I think the Daytona 500 was one for the ages there with just probably the wildest finish you're ever going to see in a stock car race. Kevin Harvick, uh, 
uh, just inching past uh, the the favorite uh, of so many people, Mark Martin, to uh, to win and. Uh, Cars upside down, on fire, spinning everywhere, just wild as can be. Yeah, it really was. And then we had more of the same in California. Yeah, it, got, it came down to a real interesting finish there. Uh, Kevin Harvick, who won Daytona, uh, is leading California uh, and under a caution flag with just a handful of laps to go. I mean, single digits to go. He, get, he gets a flat tire and has to go to the pits, winds up finishing 17th. And uh, Matt Kenseth wins at California again, and, and your point leader, is uh, an old, old part-time <laughs> driver, Mark Martin, uh, after a great second-place finish at Daytona and a, and a fourth or fifth-place finish, I should say, at California. He yeah, the point. It's fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the calendar, and we're just, what, 47 days away from the first big race out there at Texas Motor Speedway, the Samsung 500. It comes April 15th. Are tickets on sale already? They are, and I'm going to tell you, we were up about 34% in ticket sales last week as opposed to the week after last year's Daytona 500, so fans are excited, jacked up, and tickets are flying out the door. Yeah. Uh, we've got some good front stretch tickets, handful of those still available, so people need to call our box office right now and get those. It's just right around the corner. Okay, that's 817-215-8500, right? 817-215-8500? That's the ticket office, or you can go to TexasMotorSpeedway.com or to Ticketmaster. Anybody can help you 24 hours a day. There's a way to get a ticket to the great American Speedway. All right, 12 Nextel Cup races have been at TMS. We've had 12 different winners. Casey Kane won it last year. Big weekend ahead. It is uh, 817-215-8500 or go to TexasMotorSpeedway.com. Perfect. Fog legs, water hazards. <laughs> Why, that's going to swallow me down. After I discovered the new PGA Tour Superstore, the only thing that might slow my game down is a big old nasty rainstorm. But you want to know something? These days, I'm carrying around my own bag of thunder and lightning. <laughs> First, I got custom fit with a set of those newfangled irons, and then stood in the par 317T at Sawgrass and built it shot after shot on the green. Maybe tomorrow I'll tighten my short game in the practice bunkers, but right now I'm going to go polish my interviews for the TV cameras. I know it's not fair, but I don't give a spit. Someone's got to be the most feared 14 handicap in the clubhouse. Feel like a pro from the moment you step inside the PGA Tour Superstore. Visit our two new locations opening Thursday, March 1st in Plano at 75 and Plano Parkway or in Frisco at the Preston Village Shopping Center. The PGA Tour Superstore. This is big. Man, these are awesome. Yeah, I didn't even know that Buffalo Wild Wings had ribs. Oh, yeah, and the hickory flavor is so good. Uh, uh Uh-oh. What? There's only one rib left. Hmm. Well, I should probably just take it. Wait, why do you get it? Because I'm a man, and men have bigger stomachs. Says who? Says science. No way. Uh, well, I, I suppose you think you should get it? As a matter of fact, I do. Why? Well, what about the notion of women and children first? Uh, no, honey, that's just for boats. What? Yeah, okay, well, what about the fact that women already have an extra rib? That's just a myth perpetrated by man to subjugate women. Subject. <laughs> subject. <laughs> I don't know what that means, okay? But, 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 but I know this. Men invented fire. What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? What, are you repeating everything I say? What, are you repeating everything I say? You can have the last rib. You can have the last rib. Oh, all right, thanks. Ah! Ribs and more ribs at Buffalo Wild Wings. A pound of our lip-smacking glazed and grilled ribs. They taste great straight up or dipped in your favorite signature sauce. And they're just one more reason why at Buffalo Wild Wings, you have to be here. Chalk Talk Casino Resort presents Rolling for Wheels Chrysler 300 Giveaway. Play all your favorite games like poker, blackjack, or slots each Tuesday through March 20th to earn entries. Plus, every half hour from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., you'll draw selected winners to roll the Chalk Talk dice for a chance at big bonus cash. Up to $100 times the number you roll on the dice. Weekly winners will also receive additional grand prize entries. Then, on Tuesday, March 27th, One lucky person will roll away in a new $36,000 Chrysler 300 luxury sedan. Roll in for excitement. Roll out with loads of cash and a brand new car. For details, visit ChoctawCasinos.com. Choctaw Casino Resort, one hour north of Dallas on 75. Durant, Oklahoma. Adventure awaits. (laughs) 
It's Jagger for 1-800-THE-DOGS. I tell you, keep the number programmed in your phone. You never know when you're going to need it. 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S. Mark Rubin here with me. Let's talk about credit card debt because, you know, it starts out very simple. And next thing you know, you got a mountain of debt sitting in front of you. Then what happens? A lot of people are struggling with credit card debt today. I mean, they're paying minimums on their credit cards, a lot of compounded interest penalties, and they can't afford to get back on track financially. They start running behind on their houses, their cars. And what we do is give the ability for people to get out of debt, to eliminate debt, to stop the harassing phone calls from creditors and try to get their lives back on track. One of the things you definitely want are options. You get into a situation like that and you just don't know where to turn. So if you call 1-800-THE-DOGS, they can run through a number of different options for you to find out what exactly your next step is. We have an attorney get on the phone with you, run through your options that are available to you. And the whole idea behind these type of cases is to give you some peace of mind with your financial picture. All right, there you heard it. Mark Rubin, 1-800-THE-DOGS. Give him a call. That's 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G. Hey everyone, Larry North here for Stampede Light. You know, being a fitness and weight loss guy, it's my job to stay in shape. And for me, staying in shape doesn't mean depriving myself of the things that I really love and enjoy, like a good cold beer. That's why I drink Stampede Light. I can satisfy my cravings with a great tasting, full body yet light beer that's loaded with something no other beer has, vitamins and protein. Yeah, that's right. Finally, a beer that caters to people wanting to look and feel their very best, just like you and me. So the next time you're feeling guilty about not having a beer because you're not wanting to blow off your diet, think fit when you drink and drink Stampede Light. Oh yeah, one more thing. Next time you pick up some beer, make it Stampede Light and get my free gift to you. Six tips to a better six pack. It's a quick little cheat sheet that's loaded with tips and tricks to help you get the body you've always wanted and one I feel you deserve. So grab a six pack of Stampede Light and get started on your own six pack today. Stampede Brewing Company, Dallas, Texas. Always drink in moderation and never increase your intake of alcohol because of Stampede's added vitamins. No purchase required for Larry North's health tips. The Statue of Liberty, Mount Rushmore, water skiing squirrels. All are monuments to our great country. And now, add CeCe's All-You-Can-Eat Pizza Buffet to the list, where you can exercise your red, white, and blue freedom to choose from a wide variety of pizza, pasta, salad, and dessert all day and every day. And our pizzas are as diverse as America itself. From traditional pepperoni to spinach Alfredo. And if you want seconds or even fourths, at CC's you have the right to pursue all the happiness you can stuff into your constitution. All for under $5 and kids eat for a lot less. And for a little more, our soda fountain can be your spring of liberty from which you can drink all you want. In other words, free refills. So come to CC's and enjoy every American's right to have great pizza. Actually, it's not officially a right, but we're pushing a bill through Congress right now. CC's Pizza Buffet. Almost too good to be true. Price may vary by location. Hello, what's your emergency? There's a cable in my house. A what, sir? A cable from the cable company. It's taking all my money. The cable that comes out of the wall? Yes, 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 yes. Not surprising. Over 10 years, cable TV prices went up a national average of 93%. That's insane. That's triple the rate of inflation, sir. Where are you now? Under the kitchen sink. The cable found all the spare change in the couch. Wrote 15 blank checks to the cable company. Now it's after my wallet. And where's your wallet? In my pocket. Try throwing your wallet at the cable and running for the door. My credit cards are in there. Don't worry, sir. We've called AT&T. They're on their way. Oh, great. But hurry. It's getting closer. <gasps> It's after the silverware. Every 11 seconds, someone switches back to the new AT&T. TV, broadband, home phone, and wireless. Go to att.com slash switch or call 1-800-ATT4YOU and switch to the new AT&T. Oh, wait. I think it's leaving. It just went out the front door. Sir, just... No, wait. It's siphoning my gas tank. Hurry! The new AT&T. Your world delivered. Claim based on customers returning to AT&T phone service from other service providers. Winter is winding down and the sunshine of spring is right around the corner. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, and... Sonora in a hip check. Shot deflected. Turn by the stop. Oh, the second one, two. And the stars are marching towards the playoffs. Boucher slugging and he scores! The second half of the NHL season is underway and your Dallas Stars are marching towards the Stanley Cup playoffs. It's a tight race in the Western Conference and every game matters when a spot in the postseason is on the line. Your Stars are dialing up the intensity and they count on you to do the same. Here comes Jokic, swings in, he shoots, he scores! Join the march with the Planet 10 March to the Playoffs plan. You'll receive the final 10 action-packed home games of the star season, priority to purchase playoff tickets, and much more. Visit DallasStars.com or call 214-GO-STARS to order your Planet 10 March to the Playoffs plan today. 
the 2007 home of the Daytona 500, the Indy 500, and each and every NASCAR race is KLLI. Dallas Fort Worth Free FM is Live 105.3. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. I got in. All right. Last Thursday, New York City's health... Uh, you know what? Go ahead and bring up the, uh, the outboard thing, J.D. He asked me during the break if I cared about this. I didn't, but nah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, somebody sent an email saying basically... Is this an email or a news story? This is... Well, it, it comes from the Drudge Report as a, as a report. All right, go ahead. They wrote the whole story out. Uh, the Tennessee Center for Policy Research, an independent nonprofit and nonpartisan research organization. I'll cut to the chase. They basically said they looked at Al Gore's house, his 20-room mansion, and he uses 20 times the uh, electricity and gas together that the average household uses in America. 20, but he's got more. 20, more he's got more area that you got to heat and cool. 20 rooms. So yeah, if the average house is one room. The average house ain't one room. Uh, no, that's my point. Is he uses 20 times the electricity. 20 rooms, 8 bathrooms located in the posh Bell Mead area of Nashville. Uh, in his documentary, The Farm, we all know about that. The average household in America uses 10,000 something other kilowatts. He uses 221,000. 20 times the national average. Uh, it goes on to say, in total, Gore paid nearly $30,000 in combined electricity and natural gas bills for his Nashville estate in 2006. Where does his money come from? Um, just from being, a, his dad was, a, I think, a senator. So, I mean, I think he has family money and books, speaking engagements. I mean, the fact he was vice president, yeah, he probably gets 75000 a speech. To do what? And he's got a you know, war chest from campaigns and whatnot, so. Okay. To do what? Speak on the environment, politics, you know. Whatever you like. I don't like him. He's a tool. Yeah. <clears throat> and there are people that's a groundswell of him that, that people want him to It's more than a groundswell. Groundswell is just like the beginning. He's got all of Hollywood kissing his hole. I think they did a survey. and uh, I think even now, even though they don't think he'll run, he's got, I want to say, 18% of the Democratic Party said they'd vote for him. Which, if he'd announce, it'd probably go up. And he's got a better shot at, than Hillary. Yes, but the Barack feller, he's gonna he's gonna do it, right? And he's gonna go for the Democrats, most likely. Oh, I think most likely, as it stands now, Hillary gets the Democratic nomination. Mm -hmm. You think Obama will run as an independent libertarian? No, I think he'll. If he if he you loses, think maybe vice president. I doubt it. If I were if I were him, I'd bide my time and and stay in the Senate. Cause the thing that's going to kill him, in my opinion, is his lack of experience. They're going to just hammer him on that. You know what? The, the, the only reason I wouldn't hold that against him is a lot of times when you have a lack of experience, you're more open to different ideas. You go into a situation and you already know this is going to be a challenge so you don't even try it. You know, try it. I agree. If... Uh, Let's say Kinky Friedman, you know, became governor. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he was going to run into a lot of obstacles. But because he didn't have the experience, at least he would have given it a shot. He has a lot of ideas that make sense, just he doesn't have the political clout to make them happen. Right. Well, but I think, you know, like Obama... A lot of times, what I'm trying to say is a lot of times, if you don't know any better, you can get things done that normally wouldn't have happened. You're going to think outside the box. But with him, I mean, I think where people like foreign policy... He's never dealt with world leaders or anything else. Now, they hammered Bush on that, too, and Bush just said, I'm going to, you know. So? Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you hush. 
But the fact that they said it about Clinton, they said it about Bush. I mean, he can overcome it, but Hillary is a formidable opponent. I just think it's too much of a fantasy to think that, uh, A, a woman, and B, that woman being Hillary Clinton is going to be president. Well, it... And, but she's running on that Clinton name. I mean, like they did an art- article today where they noticed she's dropped the Rodham on her campaign site. It's just Hillary Clinton because she wants to associate herself with what people think of the Clinton years and that everything was good. And if you vote for Clinton, it'll be that way again. Forget about the times he lied to us. Uh, that he admitted he lied to us. After saying he didn't and going through a whole... Mess of perjury and right, and, and then his reasoning behind lying is he didn't want uh, who was the guy who was after his ass, Ken Starr. He wanted Ken Starr to win, <laughs> so I lied. He said that mm-hmm. I, I know he did. It's like, I didn't want the judge to win, so I lied here in court. I lied a lot. <laughs> Guys don't need to win because <laughs> if they win, I could go to prison. Yeah, we don't want that. There'll be none of that for me. If I went to prison. Mm-hmm. That would make me sad. <laughs> I found it much easier to lie. Yes. If lying can keep me out of prison. That made me happy. <laughs> Next question. Yeah. So if the American public gets fingered a couple of times, bah. At least your president's happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not dancing around singing what what's in my butt. Thank you. <laughs> no, you're not. I knew I'd get something out of that damn video. <laughs> All right, Dan, go ahead. All right. Uh, Last Thursday, New York City's health department inspectors went to a KFC Taco Bell restaurant in the Greenwich Village part of Manhattan. Oh, I saw this video over the weekend. Yeah, so did I. After they got some complaints about its cleanliness, they inspected it, and it passed. On Friday, the CBS station in New York held their own investigation. They took some hidden cameras there and filmed dozens of rats running around, jumping on tables, climbing into food trays, and just messing around all over the kitchen. That actually got the health department to shut the restaurant down. And the spokesman told reporters, quote, it doesn't look like the inspection that was done Thursday met our standards. I wonder where the rats would come from. Unless they never... Well, you, you can't run a restaurant with rats running around there. Just... You can't function. Forget about if anybody sees them or not. Yes. No, but none of the employees are going to hang out if you got rodents all over the place. So I wonder where they actually came from. Was it, you said New York? Yeah, New York. And it was very odd, too, because in the video clip that I saw, it was only a few seconds, but still, like they're saying, they're jumping around, running around everywhere, almost as if, and I'm not saying that this is that the they case. they planet. Exactly, because it's just like something out of, like, some bad movie where it's like, oh, if I did a mess with the other guys, I'll just dump, like, a hundred rats in their restaurant, and that's what it Have looks like. Have you seen like. the video, John? Yeah, oh, yeah. I've seen them running around. It looks like something out of Willard. Yeah. There's yes. <laughs> Were there people around? Uh, no, the store was closed. Oh, so... They came out at night, and they're jumping around. And people, there were a lot of rats. There are a lot of rats in New York. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they're hiding in the ceiling and whatnot, then the minute people leave and it's dark, it's a party. And then, I would still think you'd see one or two throughout the day. You'd see drop and, and you'd see all kinds as of many was, it, it, Dan's right. It looked like a setup. I don't know why you'd do that. I'm with you. I mean, it, the skeptical side of me, or even like conspiracy maybe, it would be, Okay, the rats happen to show up the first night that the TV station Convenient gets there. Convenient to the cameras where they're rolling. Yeah, and- yeah, especially with... And if you're showing up with the cameras and you're doing some type of expose, you better make sure you got enough rats to show up on camera. Because if you throw one, you don't know where he's going to go. <laughs> he may go hide out in the corner. You throw in a bunch of them, you're going to get enough to make a point. Well, I and mean, this sounds very hickish and funny, but when I was a kid, I had a chicken coop. And why? We had chickens. <laughs> All right. And you would never see one rat during the day, but at night you could take a flashlight down there and there were literally hundreds that would be just marching up and down, getting food and whatnot. And so it is possible that they just come, they're hiding somewhere and they come out at night. But it's like in New York, what was, is it XM that the studios are just infested? Yes. I mean, it is prevalent in that city. Okay. All right. Good day. Well, uh, after the story came out about the female astronaut who freaked out, put on a diaper, and drove 950 miles to the BB gun and pepper spray to attack the woman who had stolen her man, it actually brought up a big question. What happens if an astronaut freaks out in space? It turns out, actually, NASA does have a plan for that, and the smoking gun got their hands on it, which tells astronauts what to do if someone on their mission goes psychotic or even gets suicidal. 
Step one. You want to throw any guesses out, John? Uh, let me think. You're in space. Somebody. Uh, well, th- think of it this way: uh, if you're on an airliner, okay. What uh, would be uh, since you worked uh, as a uh, flight attendant, stewardess, flight attendant <clears throat> for Southwest? Uh, what uh, if they said you, you ever had to uh, overpower I, a passenger? What would be some of the problems? I would say up in space, probably something convenient like zip ties. You might you might want to chain them with you know a zip tie in their hands until you right. settle them down. Okay, nothing else. That would be enough. Is that all that you learned when you were a stewardess? I was a flight attendant, and actually, no. You go through... We, we actually never talked about with strain, uh, restraining. Thank you, passengers. Uh, we talked about anti-hijacking techniques, which is the thing is, you know, and it's really simple. It's a one-day course. A guy comes in. He talks to you for about an hour and a half, and then he says, here's what's going to happen. And he takes somebody hostage. He just grabs somebody out of the front seat and goes, now what? And the thing is, you get them to the back of the plane, you try to get them away from the cockpit, and that's all that's really all they taught us. Keep them away from the cockpit as long as possible. So, I would say, if you have zip ties, which you probably do in space, I'd do a zip tie in his hands. I mean, what else you got? What else can you do? Narcotize them? They carry drugs up there? Well, I guess if they have a backup plan, they well, might have a little bag. Well, well would you carry one on an airliner? No. Some type of uh, tranquilizer? You have nothing. Okay. Well, obviously, NASA's <laughs> playing further ahead than you did. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, step one is duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> it is NASA. You're making that up. No, NASA, duct tape, they're synonymous. Okay. At least it always has been with me. Yeah, step one is duct tape the person's wrists and ankles <laughs> and use a bungee cord to attach them to a chair. Well, there's my answer to what to do with Paul, the new guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> step two, bump them full of drugs. Those drugs include Haldol, a potent tranquilizer, and Valium. So they, they got all this on. Yeah, I guess they do. Have it all on board. Of course, if I'm the whacked out guy, that's the first thing I'm going to do is go hide that stuff before I go <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if you're a really smart whacked out guy, you might be able to take the crew by surprise and you have them duct taped and drugged up. Yeah, I think I've lost faith in their space program. <laughs> <laughs> no, just because, well, they have to have a backup. I'll bet you this wasn't in place until poopy pants went <laughs> to Florida. <laughs> That, they just had some Velcro in that story. It would have been pure NASA. Yeah. <laughs> you drug him with some tang. What the? <laughs> Why is it NASA has duct tape? I have absolutely. On a space shuttle. On a space shuttle. No idea. Oh, I, what? What? You really want to know? I hey, mean, something came off? Well, when things. I, are, I know that you can uh, possibly your spacesuit. You get a hole. Well, like tape works. when things are floating around zero gravity, yeah. you can literally, you know, kind of fold it around and just put it to the back of something and stick it on. Well, why not use Velcro or something a little more advanced? Well, like it, like Ziploc baggies of, let's say, liquid or whatever, and they want yeah. to attach it to something. It's not. I'd still like something a little more advanced. <laughs> Duct tape. <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> Duct tape is. It's universal. Tape. <laughs> To tape up ducks. <laughs> it works for everything, <laughs> including our space program. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Columbia. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. We think all your heat shields are gone. <laughs> all right. You got duck there? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, yeah. Wrap yourself in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Could you tell people in East Texas to put their mattresses outside? <laughs> <laughs> we never thought of that. <laughs> We'd appreciate it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beats the hell out of my duct tape idea. <laughs> Think no. <laughs> I guess they're still working on the zero gravity death ray as opposed to the duct tape. <laughs> yeah, that, that, we that ain't a f chance in hell. We went to the moon. We went to the moon. You throw it as a safety backup today in 2007. 
duct tape on a space shuttle. I think we didn't go to the moon. We went to the moon. We didn't go to the moon. No one wigged we out. went to Nevada. We've had one person <laughs> wig out and she didn't do it on a space shuttle. That don't make any difference. The fact that you still have duct tape on a space shuttle. I'm going to try. There's probably some uses for it, obviously. To just tag stuff up and, yay, we didn't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we really did. Solid state electronics uh, technology was brand new. Uh, I don't think it was maybe two years old. When uh, I think last time we talked about this, somebody said it was a lot older than now. I don't know the no. facts. What, so they, what they used for space travel, I don't believe, was 18 months old. I ain't going no place. I don't go anywhere now. I won't buy the first year a car comes out. <laughs> no, you won't. I realize it's very risky, but we went, and we navigated by hand. Again, guys came all the way across the ocean from England and landed at the same port time after time with nothing but the stars. Well, there are some people that get out there on, on cutting edge and do some crazy things. And they Well, should... here's the thing is you can do that on a, on a ship, and you don't have to worry about your spacesuit ex- exploding, and you got no oxygen. Or your tether comes loose and then you float off someplace. That's true. There are, there are less dangers hopping on a ship well, and coming to the new world. It's amazing that they made it, though. Two, three, four, how many times? You know why it's amazing? Why? Didn't go. We did, well, we did go to the moon. We went. Mm-mm. Well, I got no way to convince you. Because you got no proof. <laughs> well, there's... <laughs> Oh, never mind. Say it. Say no, it. No, I'm not going to say it. There's pictures and video. I know you can... Okay. But that, you're never going to be convinced, but we went. There's and that's all you need. Is, that's all you need is pictures and video. No, there's just too many people. Somebody would have talked by now. I got video, really good quality, too, of uh, seven people okay. stranded on a <laughs> desert island. <laughs> <laughs> that was Gilligan's Island. I know that wasn't real. There's got, a lot of people that believe I got that. footage of a guy who lived with a Martian. Had a little antennas come up? I know. That was only black and white, but that's the best I could do. <laughs> the technology of the day. Yeah. Just because you got pictures doesn't mean that really happened. You ever see the movie uh, Capricorn 1? No. I've, I've heard of it, but I don't know what was it about. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do not. Chuck? No. Never mind. What was it about? I think it came out in the early 70s, and it was uh, uh, the, the whole premise of the movie was they didn't really have the technology to go to Mars. Okay. So they shot it on the sound stage. Well, technically, the amount And this was the early 70s, while our space program was still in full force. I know. I'm just saying something. So, obviously, these ideas have been out there for a long time. Well, there's conspiracy nuts on everything. That's not being nutty. That is being nutty. No. We were in a space race. We didn't have time to make it to the moon before the Russians, so we faked it. We had the technology to do that. No. We, We went. And there's... How many thousands and thousands of people? Are you not telling me one of them would have nutted out and come out with pictures and gone, hey, here's the soundstage, here's the lights. Here's, uh, here's a picture I took. Haven't I already explained this to right. you? What do they name the, uh, the, the space center in Florida? Just as a reminder everybody, <laughs> to everybody in case they open their yap. The Kennedy Space Center. Thank you. Someone speaks, they're going to blow their head off in Dealey Plaza, aren't they? If you're lucky. <laughs> That's lucky. Uh-huh. <clears throat> what happens to you? I don't want to know. Mm-hmm. How are you doing, Chloe? Uh, need a break for Lagos. Before Lagos? Yes. What would you send me, Dan? The IMDb for uh, Capricorn 1. Oh. I can't believe I'm the only person that knows that movie. I've heard of it. I, I've just Actually, never seen it. Uh, it's late 70s. I thought it was earlier. Plot outline. A NASA Mars mission won't work and its funding is endangered, so they decide to fake it. Uh, but then they have to keep the secret. i got to click on more. Well, you know what? I don't have to tell you this. Trey will have copies <laughs> by tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I like a regular def. I don't have high def yet. Thanks. Did you buy anything over the weekend? No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's, that's the gist of it. That was a movie. Didn't make any difference. Didn't happen in real life. So was Apollo. A movie? Mm-hmm. Okay, you believe we actually launched, but we just stayed in the Earth's atmosphere. Why not? 
It just seems to me as big of a race as if somebody would have seen the space, they would have taken pictures of the spaceship still in Earth's orbit and gone, see? Well, they think it's going to the moon. What do you get? Who's going to be outside get, waiting for it not to leave? Uh, the Russians are going to be up there with, think, with telescopes going, it ain't on the moon, it's right there. They don't know if it's on the moon or not. <laughs> they, if, they, if they question it, they would look for it. And they would have seen it. Why would they question it? Because we were not still idiots like you 40 years later to think we went. <laughs> Go. Have a nice glass of vodka. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be back. Bust it. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. This segment is brought to you by Ashley Furniture. Contenders come and go, but there's only one afternoon champ. The Russ Martin Show on Live 105.3. It's big news. The Subaru Forester is on the top of the charts for safety, and you can put one on your shopping list today for under $20,000 and have a great buying experience. I'm David Thomas of Subaru of Dallas on Lemon Avenue or Subaru of Plano on Plano Parkway. Listen to this. A 50-inch Sony high-definition LCD just $9.99. Again, that's a 50-inch Sony HD LCD just $9.99. Grab one while they last because this weekend everything new in high definition is on display at Star Power. Star Power presents High Definition Expo 2007. Sony XPR, Pioneer Elite, LG, Klipsch, Tenoy. Manufacturers from all over the world are flying here for the nationally acclaimed high Definition Expo 2007 at Star Power. So this weekend, you can see it and own it before anybody else in America, including a 50-inch Sony HD LCD for $9.99 or a sharp DLP projector and free screen for just $8.88. Or get this, buy any flat panel 50 inches or more and we'll give you a 20-inch LCD absolutely free. The Star Power High Definition Expo 2007 this weekend only at one store only. Star Power on the tollway just north of Beltline. Meet the Mavs' Devin Harris at Star Power Saturday at 1. Star Power. Amazing. The fourth annual Pro Cuts Texas World Dirt Track Championship returns to Texas Motor Speedway March 2nd and 3rd. And once again, NASCAR Nextel Cup driver Ken Schrader will race in the Pro Cuts Super Late Model both nights. Come see Ken Schrader up close as he competes against the best drivers from across the state. What could be better than that? How about if it was all free? Just race into any of Pro Cuts 85 Metroplex locations and get two free tickets with any purchase of $15 or more. Yes, for only $15 worth of professional hair care products and services, you get $50 worth of racing tickets free. Race into your neighborhood Pro Cuts today for the look you want, the products you need, and two free tickets to the Pro Cuts Texas World Dirt Track Championship featuring NASCAR Nextel Cup driver Ken Schrader at Texas Motor Speedway. For the salon nearest you, call 1-888-PRO-CUTS or go to ProCuts.com. Not valid with other offers, valid only while supplies last at participating salons. ProCuts, best on the block. I climbed the building with suction pads. Forty stories below me, the neon city glittered like an ocean. I let myself in with a skeleton key. There were Rembrandts on the walls, and the walls went on forever. This was a man who could have anything. His face smiled from every picture on the grand piano. Acapulco Beach Party, Paris Nightclub, Ski Lodge, and always the glass, the ice, the liquid gold. I had a hunch, and yeah, lying on the shelf, there was the purple bag. The diamonds were in it. But if the diamonds were in the bag, where was the bottle? I found it in the wall safe, the unmistakable round shape, moonlight dancing on gold. Crown Royal. And that's when the alarms went off, like a pack of cats in heat. Crown Royal, blended Canadian whiskey imported by the Crown Royal Company, Stanford, Connecticut. 40% alcohol by volume. Enjoy our quality responsibly, but don't drink if you're under 21. Know how you drink a Crown Royal hanging from a skyscraper? Straight up. And now with a look at traffic, here's Bill from the Skycopter. Thanks, Sheila. Wow, I am looking at this really attractive girl stuck in traffic. She's looking up. She's waving at me. This is so cool. Get back to your senses with McDonald's all-new honey mustard snack wrap. The snack wrap you love now comes grilled to perfection with tender all-white chicken breast meat wrapped in a soft flour tortilla. Try it for just $1.29. Um, Bill, you can't hit on girls from the Skycopter. Oh, big traffic thing. Big traffic. Gotta call you back. Price and participation may vary. 
Network. Limited time offer. Okay, McDonald's breakfast is here. Let's see. Uh, sausage biscuit, yours, right, Steve? And a fruit and yogurt parfait. I take it that's yours, Jill. What? You think just because I'm a woman I get the fruit? You got a lot to learn about the female. So the sausage biscuit is yours? No, I got the fruit. At least one thing's for sure. Right now you can get two sausage biscuit sandwiches for just two bucks. And if you need more help in the morning, visit morningimpaired.com. For a limited time, prices and participation may vary. Ask for details. Ah, the internet. How did we ever get along without it? It gives us email, online shopping, corporate intranets, and more. And if you're like most people, you get the internet at home, at work, and maybe at an occasional Wi-Fi hotspot. But what if I told you that you could get high-speed wireless internet on your laptop from Verizon Wireless virtually anywhere you get cell phone service, like at a city park or the airport? It's your mobile internet. You don't need cables. You don't need an outlet. All you need is a broadband access PC card that slides easily into the side of your laptop and a data service plan from Verizon Wireless, America's most reliable wireless broadband network. Once you have it, you'll likely ask, how did I ever get along without it? For more information, go online to verizonwireless.com slash business or visit a Verizon Wireless store near you. Broadband access, speed, coverage, reliability. Verizon Wireless, it's the network. Broadband access is available to more than 202 million people in 242 major metropolitan areas. Network details at verizonwireless.com. Are you looking for a change and a way to earn more money? My name is Dr. David Fine, and I'm a board-certified OB-GYN who finally had it with insurance companies, paperwork, long hours, and missing my family. I looked for an opportunity which would provide significant revenue without selling and wouldn't require a lot of extra time. I found that with Wellness Opportunities Group. Once I got involved with wellness, I found myself spending less time at the office, more time with my family, and it also became my new retirement plan. And the best part, Wellness Opportunities Group isn't just for doctors. My business partners include soccer moms, corporate executives, and small business owners. We are expanding into DFW and looking for the few motivated individuals who truly want to make changes in their lives. The Wellness Opportunities Group wants to speak with success-oriented people that are looking to make a change. If you want more out of life, call the Wellness Group at Metro 970 972-933-4800. 972-933-4800. Call 972-933-4800. My name is Jamie. I own my own dress boutique. I'm the gal in charge. I can set my own hours, hire my own team, and sell the clothes I want. I'm finally living my dream. But with all the glory comes all the financial responsibility. I've got to pay the bills on time, every time. And we have to save enough to cover the payroll taxes. Fortunately, Chase, Dallas's number one bank for small business, has everything you need to turn business hurdles into business successes. With Chase Business Checking, you'll get access to the most payment options more than any other bank, including overnight check, so you can always pay the bills even at the last minute. Chase Business Checking customers also save money with the best loan, credit, and savings rates Chase has to offer. My name is Jamie, and Chase helps me do what I do best, make the world a little prettier. Call the business team at Chase today at 1-800-CHASE-24. Stop by one of our banking centers or visit chase.com slash business banking today. Credit products subject to approval. J.P. Morgan Chase and a member FDIC. Texas Motor Speedway has been a fan favorite for over a decade now. Even NASCAR and XL Cup drivers agree. We asked Jeff Burton which speedway was his favorite place to race, and he said... Texas Motor Speedway. We also asked Bobby Labonte which Speedway had the best full throttle fans in the world, and he said... Texas Motor Speedway. And hey, Kyle Petty, where's the place to be on April 15th for the Samsung 500? Texas Motor Speedway. Texas Motor Speedway. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is also looking forward to seeing you there. Hey, this is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Get ready for some great racing right here at Texas Motor Speedway. So, 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 so don't miss out on seeing these great drivers and others April 12th through the 15th at Texas Motor Speedway during the weekend events, including the Dallas Morning News Qualifying Days, the O'Reilly 300, and the Samsung 500. Get your seats now by calling 817-215-8500 or visit TexasMotorSpeedway.com. Tonight on NBC, a spectacular night begins with an all-new Deal or No Deal. Then, it's Heroes, with an episode that will answer many questions. Did you make me this way? And finally... The premiere of TV's next great drama from the Oscar-winning writers of Crash, The Black Donnellys. We're his brothers. He needs us. 
The premiere of Black Donnelly's after Deal or No Deal and Heroes. All new NBC Tonight. KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, Live 105.3. to the Russ Martin Show. I'm thinking about learning it for the white trash party. You want to hear it? Yes. Here. I Chuck can do that on a keyboard. I sit down when I pee. Oh, There's nothing that crazy about me. <laughs> All right, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What did you? <laughs> did I just hear Gavin screaming? Yeah, you did. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> did you? Yeah, it was faint, but it was there. Yeah. It was through the walls. Oh. What key is that, Chuck? <clears throat> What is it? C. C. Yeah. I sit down when I pee. There's nothing that crazy about me. I'm just taking a whiz. Mind your own biz. Why is everybody always staring at me? <laughs> Hold on. What's that guy? Uh-huh. What'd he say? I'm not singing that song. Gavin. Yeah. What's the matter? You're not singing that song. You can do it. Why would I sit down? I don't sit to pee. Well, it's just a song. You also don't live after midnight or do the time warp. Mm -mm. You can do this song. I don't want to do it. The whole thing doesn't have to be about me. Because I stand to pee. Well, I stand to pee, too. Let's prove it after the show. You come to the restroom with me, and I'll stand, and I'll pee. I don't want to take the chance. <laughs> Get the chance of what? I don't know. Telephone. Hello, it's Gavin. Hey, it's a status little faggot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I sit down when I pee. There's nothing that crazy about me. I'm just taking a whiz. Mind your own biz. Why is everybody always staring at me? Hey, bro, I gotta go. Let me through. I gotta go, number two. No can do. I'm taking the pee. Sitting on the loo, having a good long wee. Are you sitting down? I'm sitting down. And you're not making brown? I'm not making brown. Are you making iced tea? Just lemonade. But are you sitting down? I'm sitting down. <laughs> No, no, no. Huh? No, no. Yeah. Oh, maybe an encore. <laughs> Is that duet? Yeah. And I think we could close with this. Oh, yeah. Screw anything else we got. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Why? I'm doing Because I don't want to be up on set. I sit down when I pee. I don't want to do that. Pull that audio. Yeah, I got it. Thank yeah. you, so oh, No, no. 706-45. <laughs> yeah. Have that on the clip for me by tomorrow week. Thank you. I gotta go. I can tell my sinus medicine ran the hell out. Yeah, I can hear your nose stopping up. Jesus, just in the last 30 minutes. Your eyes are watery. It's like you've been crying. No. Yeah, it was, uh, I had to cancel my workout Sunday morning. I got up, my eyes looked, uh, they were blood red. What was it, the dust and stuff from Saturday? Well, I got out and mowed. When? Saturday afternoon. You mowed in that? What? You know as bad as your sinuses. Hey, why would you mow? And why would you mow in that kind of dust and dirt? And then you're surprised you have sinus problems. I took precautions. What? Hold on. Do you know this, Trey? <laughs> oh, no. Do you know? <laughs> How do you know it? Did I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do to take your precaution? First of all, I know I had to scalp the yard. Okay. Because I'm running out of time. Sure. And when you scalp it, you're supposed to bag the grass. Right. I didn't want to do that. 
I figure, well, the wind's blowing, so I'll just get on the ride and mower. Let's cap the yard while the wind's blowing, so it'll blow, <laughs> blow away. Okay. <laughs> what, Trey? Did you ever see the movie Multiplicity? Yeah, yeah I did a long time ago, but I, help me out. <laughs> Do you remember the fourth copy that was retarded? It's yeah. a movie with Michael Keaton. Yeah. Okay. What did he do? <laughs> what did he do? What did he do? It's not... You know those Speedo goggles that I got when I go swimming? Yeah. That's what I wore. <laughs> <laughs> did you get a chainsaw? No, I got a monkey. <laughs> That was your protection. Yeah. You're the biggest dork I know. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to go eat the dolphin. Yeah. No, we're going to go pet a dolphin. <laughs> but once a copy of multiplicity. Yeah. <laughs> Regular death. <laughs> it seemed like it, that would be enough to protect my eyes from the stuff. All the dirt and all the wind and all the blowing and everything. Uh, no. How drunk were you that you thought this was a good idea? Nobody was there to stop me. <laughs> Do we need a handler for you? Well, Amy came home and she goes, what are you doing? <laughs> she touched my peppies, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> the course of, I mean, it was three hours after I was done. Oh, yeah. My eyes had already caked over. Yeah. So now I'm walking through the house. I'm drunk, screaming, I can't see. Mm -hmm. She's trying to get a, a warm washcloth on my eyes so we can at least break it up. Can't. <laughs> Gotta go eat the dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> I want <Aww>. pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming these are all lines from that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I must see it. Speedo goggles. Uh, well, work. it made sense. I, I had regular goggles that you'd wear if you were doing uh, like woodwork. Okay, I've seen, yeah. But that didn't really protect your eyes that much. No, they're, they're holes in the side. Yeah. But I had to have something that would be secure over my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> had to work out. I just wonder what Greg Ellis was no. thinking. <laughs> He's thinking I moved into a, next to a tar. <laughs> Honey, you got there on a ride mower. Uh, yeah. Is that a bug? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a bug mowing his yard? I got a retarded bug cutting grass. <laughs> Eating a dolphin. So, yeah, my sinuses are messed up. Yeah. And you're shocked. Well, I took a uh, Allegra this morning. I got up early. I took it about six. And it said, I gave him credit. It said 12 hours. Yeah, you exactly. I, I can just tell in the last hour, your nose has stopped up and your eyes are starting to run. <sighs> Don't do that anymore. Pay someone to scalp your lawn. I had it handled. Clearly. Now you're going to suffer for three or four days because of it. Uh, it'll work itself out. Bring me a gift. Is that from the movie? Maybe. <laughs> what kind of gift would you like? A chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Dan? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Let me uh, you got something to play, Chuck? I'm ready. All right. Why don't you stand like a regular man? Then you can pee in the urinal can. If you really want to know why I'm sitting strong, I just can't stand touching my dog. <laughs> That's short. Thank you. Gavin? Yeah. No. It's not a long song. He could even break dance with it. Oh, yeah. They haven't done your break dancing in a while. 
For the head mic? Yeah. What do I get for doing it? A monkey? I don't want a monkey. Chainsaw. I don't want a chainsaw. I like pizza. <laughs> I don't eat pizza. Come here, you a dolphin. No. I'm out of movie lines, Gavin. <laughs> Help a brother out. <laughs> What do you want me to say to you? I sit down when I pee. <laughs> There's nothing that crazy about me. I'm just taking a whiz. Mind your own biz. Why is everybody always staring at me? Hey, bro, I gotta go. Let me through, I gotta go, number two. No can do, I'm taking the pee. Sitting on the loo, having a good and long weed. Are you sitting down? I'm sitting down. And you're not making brown? I'm not making brown. Are you making iced tea? Just lemonade. But are you sitting down? I'm sitting down. Why don't you stand like a regular man? Then you can pee in the urinal can. If you really want to know why I'm sitting strong, I just can't stand touching my dong. How about that, Gavin? It's not that long. Now, live, this is in... What was that? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. What's the matter, Gavin? Who's doing the secondary part? Uh, Jagger. Yeah, Jagger. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he makes brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Uh, yeah. Ready, Dan? Yeah, I'll set. I gotta check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For more information about the Russ Martin Show, including uh, pictures, videos, and more, just go to RussMartin.com. Hi, thief. Good party. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll have to see the movie. You never saw Multiplicity? Mm, if I did, it's been so long ago, I forgot about it. <laughs> what, is he, what, what movies do you watch? Mm, mostly. Um, I can't remember a lot, very many of them, actually. Well, what's in your library at home? I don't buy movies and keep them. I rent them and take them back. Uh, I just saw The Departed the other day. Huh? Hey, it's the wizard. Who ate all the bologna? The burglars. What'd you do? Eat everything in the house. Count Chocula. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Love retarded people. <laughs> it's, yeah, so his, his fourth personality is retarded. Yeah, they, uh... You know... Never mind. You ready, Chuck? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, to answer any question you may have about the show, just go to RussMartin.info. To instant email the show and only during the show, send that to studio at RussMartin.com. Other show websites, JohnDavidRyan.com, DanAntasos.com, DJClo.com, TreyTrenholm.com, and for Chuck Aisley's website, ChuckWheat. Com. The official caterer of the Russ Martin Show is Sugar Babies Barbecue. Their website, sugarbabiesbbq.com. Limo service provided by Limo George. His website, limogeorge.com. Sorry, Steve. That leg's going to have to come off. <laughs> and the official site for Live 105.3 is 1053freefm.com. So when you rent movies, what do you get? I can't remember the last one I rented, actually, to be honest with you. All right. It's kind of disturbing. Just current movies. I don't remember them. I don't remember them line for line like you do. Well, I did. I've just been years. I can't remember this one. I watched, you know, The Money Pit, too, with Tom Hanks, and it's been years. If you gave me a line out of it, I probably wouldn't remember it. I don't know that one. I saw it. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with Meg Ryan. Um Trying to think of like a Show stand versus up. the volcano. I saw that one a million times. Top Gun. I've seen a zillion times. Okay, I'm just curious. You don't seem to know anything good. 
the retardo in multiplicity, and suddenly I'm a I'm a social retard. That yeah. When was the last time you saw Smokey and the Bandit? Uh, actually, that's been on um, one of the movie channels recently. So I saw All weekend. part of it. Yeah. yeah, I saw part of it over the weekend. Like but only because it was on television. I saw the nice lady part when he walked out of the diner <laughs> with the toilet paper on him. Did you hear about the part with the uh, Diablo sandwich? No, I didn't catch that part. What are you, a tick turd? No, <laughs> tick turd. <laughs> Daddy, the roof come off. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, were you done, Dan? Yes, all done. Oh. Chuck, you're going to have to play for another 20, 30 seconds. Got it. All right, good. Is that Black Stacy? All right. Yeah, Stacy? Hey, I'll, I'll sing that song with Gavin. All right, Gavin, you got, uh, you got somebody to sing the duet with you. All right. Huh? Great. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Stacy. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. You can now listen to The Russ Martin Show anytime you want on the web at russmartin.info. the first time in history, Crest Cadillac in Plano is beating GM employee pricing. Hi, I'm Paul White, general manager. There's better, there's best, and then there's Crest Cadillac discounts up to $20,000 off. Brand new XLRs, Escalades, ESVs, and SRXs. Cadillac sedans up to $15,000 off. DeVille's, CTS's, and STS's. What could be better than a GM employee price? Crest best price. And a $1,000 guaranteed better trading allowance. Go ahead, shop around. Bring us your 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 shop around. Bring us your